Hey guys, this is King Crab Zero. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my 24 hour stream. Uh, give me a second here, I just realized I forgot to update my uh, tags for this. Also, let me get rid of the little kitty cat that was hanging out on my desk. Beastie, you want to say hi? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me let me update that. I, I I was like checking on a whole bunch of other things. That's the one thing I forgot. Also, hey there, Mavericks. How's it going today? I'd hopped into Discord a little bit earlier uh, while I was still getting ready, and uh, weren't quite there. So, like, yeah, I'll uh, start my stream and then um. I guess one thing I wanted to check is, um, did you want to do tails like when I get towards like the end of my stream tomorrow? Why do you why do you always use like sadness, man? Why why are you so sad? Why can't you be happy? Okay, go go with that, and then let me turn on my switch here real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that one's that one's more happy. I'm a, I'm more okay with that. Okay, let's see here. Cool. Just want to make sure that's all good. But yeah. Ari had Animal Crossing loaded up here. Um, I don't think there's anything I really need from the Nook Terminal right now. Okay, we're gonna start off with uh, some Animal Crossing, get my daily stuffs out of the way. Uh, afterwards, we'll move to some Majora's Mask. I think after that, I'll probably um, stop for like a little bit of just chatting for a while, maybe tell some stories and stuff. And then yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. Thank you, Quinn, for telling me to be careful and not get sick. Uh, it's always helpful. Yeah, Mavericks, I guess, uh, when did you get to a bit in the stream? Um, did you, did you want to do some, like, uh, Tales of Symphonia then? I, actually, let me check. It looks like you may have messaged me on Discord. Oh, yeah, you're going to show me what you're working on? Well, it'll have to, it'll have to wait like 24 hours ish. I don't know, I might like, uh, depending on what it is, like if it's something you can just send me, I might check it out. Um, yeah, when I have some downtime. Oh, hitting me with that kind of girl with a knife. See how it is. See how it is. Uh, let me check a few things really quick. I just want to make sure everything is working here. Okay, it looks like everything is. Cool. So, man, I have, like, a story to tell sometime during this that just, it, it's not even a long story, it's just kind of like a I'm dumb type of story, because those are pretty common for me. I have lots of dumb moments. But, uh, we'll save that for a little bit. Build some intrigue, you know? Okay, what's my inventory looking like? Oh my god, I don't have much inventory space. I want to lower game volume a bit. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, let's go like this. Well, my volume is as high as it can really be without um, peaking a lot or without clipping a lot. So I'll just lower the game volume a bit. Um, is it at a better spot now? I think this ABD terminal 
think we're just gonna set like literally right next to the shop here. And the shop's really not that far from um or from the town center or whatever. But uh might as well have like some place for me to grab money there. Because like sometimes, like especially if I'm like getting on late for Animal Crossing, it's a little bit of a pain. And I go to uh buy some stuff and I just don't have the money on me for it and I have to go grab some money. Because like I've missed on a couple items that way. Uh, can I? No, I can't grab while I'm in this menu. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. No! I hit the wrong button there. <laughs> okay, let's do that, that. Okay, I think that's all I want to sell at this point. And let's see here. Let's reorganize a little bit, because I do want to scoot this up. Um, I guess the other thing I should do is I want to check if one of the things in my inventory is a fake or not, and I got a couple of pieces of art to send off. And I really hope that my friend who's been needing a gallant statue hasn't picked one up yet, because I do have a fake gallant statue I'm going to send him, because that's the only piece of art he needs. I know, stamp rally and all that. Man, I wish I wish you wouldn't blather on about that all the time. Um, make a donation. Let's uh donate that. I think it's one of those uh, fake, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, it's definitely fake. Sweet. I have the perfect person to send that one to. I guess while I'm here, I'm going to assess the fossils I already have, because there is one more fossil for me to pick up. But there are, like, um, some more shells and stuff for me to grab. And I do need to grab my daily, like, recipe and stuff. Oh, wait. I think I... Let me just make sure. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, just to make sure, Mavericks, is, are, are things in a good area, volume-wise? Like, am I coming through high enough compared to the game audio? Because I did lower the um, game bot audio a bit, or I guess I should say my Elgato audio. Also, let me get that uh, hydration. Now, I was distracted by my cat at first, so let me hydrate for you. Okay, there we go. Got the hydration out of the way. Put my water bottle in a better spot. Um, let me clear the hydration from Q. Sweet. There we go, there we go. And yeah, let's go clear up some more inventory really quick. Send off some letters. Uh, let's go with a friend. Uh, first one we'll send is my buddy there. He is getting the gl uh, gallant statue. Because it's going to probably irk him a little bit. And it'll be fun. He'll get it and you'll be like, oh man, sweet, finally I got the uh, perfect thing. Okay, and then we just gotta send off one more piece of art. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. If this could just take uh, less time and send it a little bit quicker, that'd be beautiful. Okay. I'm going to sell off the uh, fossils I have really quick. Just so that hopefully leaves me with enough space for clearing off the rest of my island. I think it should, but it's hard to say. Okay. Well, since we cleared out all of our inventory, well, I shouldn't say all, but cleared out all the things we can. Time to grab all the shells. up our inventory with that. We're just going to plant that really quick. <clears throat> Do you ever get the gyroid fragments like that, Mavris? I mean, I know you don't really play that often, but yeah, if, if you do get them, um, that, that's all you have to do with them is just plant them and water them, and basically the next day they'll just be a full gyroid. I mean, planting might not be the proper term for them, but that's what I always view it as, is uh, you're kind of planting your own little gyroid. Okay, nothing there. be like a few different shells over on this other stretch of beach here so check that in just a second after we collect all these yep oh, I bet that's a clearing rock one there we go yeah I do always find that when you or find that funny is when you do get like a new goal that uh, is easily attainable for your normal stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to collect the, uh... Here, I'll turn myself up a touch, just a touch. Okay, um... There, I turned myself up a touch, and I'll turn down the game just a bit more. There we go. I mean, literally next to my mouth, so... It was six inches away, but I moved it closer because, you know, obviously the closer it is, the easier it is to pick it up. Are you saying that even after adjusting the game volume like I did, it's still hard to hear me? Uh, let me check something, actually. Because I know how this is sometimes. Like, sometimes the properties from it might get messed up. Now everything looks good there. Uh, let me unmute my stream here really quick. Um... Let's see, I'll just see what it sounds like. Yeah, 
if if it's wet compressor. Because I mean, I can hear myself just fine on my stream. See, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know why you're struggling with it. Um, I highly doubt it's that because, like, I've been running the same compression settings since like uh, day one. I mean, I can check, but let's see here. Let me check my properties or uh, filters. There we go filters. Oh, and I don't have a compressor. I just have um, a noise gate and also um, some noise suppression, where a compressor just makes it so you don't have anything that really peaks. Here, how about I unsuppress it just a little bit? Is that better for you? Well, I asked if it was better because, like, you should have been able to hear when I asked if it was better. I mean... Did, did, did you not hear when I asked if it was better, if it was any better? I mean... Because I would imagine that if you could hear that if it's better, you'd be able to tell me at that. Well, I don't know how it'd be better inside the house, because the house is literally, like, the music and stuff inside the house is even louder than outside. Because you got him pounding on his table, you got, like, um... A lot higher music. saying that there's still a lot of like noise pollution going on there and are you still having issues with hearing me because again I can't imagine that you should again when I listen to my stream there just to uh, hear what the levels were like you Sounded like I was coming through just clear. An animal. And we'll, uh, let me unmute my stream for myself one more time. Yeah, now I can hear myself clearly over everything else. So yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. No, no, I will not open up. <laughs> I have to, uh, I have to gun me down before, uh, before they can take me. Not going alive.
<laughs> it's a hole. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not a hole yet. Now it's a hole. It was a dig spot. There we go. Oh, man. There went my shovel. I will just go like that, and then like that. And we'll just kick the dirt in. Wait. I don't think I went... I don't think I, uh... cleared out the... the rock towards the beach. I can't remember if I did or not, but I don't think I did. Those balloons are sometimes like a pain in the ass. Like, not to shoot down, just like sometimes uh, when they land, if you shoot them down in an area that's full of stuff, they'll just uh, disappear on you. Because, yeah, like I remember one time I shot it down right over where I grow all my vegetables, and it landed right in my vegetable patch and then just disappeared like it fell into water or something, I was like, that's not cool. <laughs> like, if I knew that was going to happen, I would have just, like, let it float a little bit further and shoot, uh, shot it down over just an open area. One more rock to clear and then maybe pick up a bit more debris and stuff. Go assess my last fossil and get my daily coffee, I guess. Uh, before I started streaming, I did at least collect a couple of fossils and uh, I got my daily points, my daily login bonus. I checked Nook Shopping to make sure there wasn't anything that I needed to buy, which there really wasn't today. Uh, the further on you get in this game, like the less things that you have to buy from there. Though, usually it seems like Nook's cranny, you know, the actual shopping store on your island. They usually have at least one item, sometimes several items each day that are uh, worth buying. Spike. Oh yeah, Flick is in town. I need to uh, grab some stuff from storage to give to Flick. Okay. Do I have any bugs on me that I can sell to Flick right now? No. Darn. I was hoping I did. I do have three moss, I believe it is. Uh, three atlas moths to turn into them. So I'm going to do that first, actually. Before I go to the museum. Because the museum stuff, like, you know, isn't quite as time sensitive. Like, Flick's only going to be here today. I have museum stuff I could even do tomorrow if need be. Okay. Inventory's good. Yep, creatures. Sweet. Um, Atlas Moth is the one that I've been meaning to turn in. I also need one more scorpion as well, so I can get a scorpion statue. I was going to get, like, another scorpion, but the, uh... The sad part is, is um, the scorpion I was going to capture, um, it was like a little bit cl too close to a tree, so when I went to capture it, like my net hit the tree, and then the scorpion just ended up stinging me, which was a pain. Okay. 
Oh wait, now I don't have a bug to sell. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one more time, talk about commissions. And then we'll just give them three of those. Okay, cool. I think you can also get, like, art for the fish. I mean, I could be wrong. But I never really worry about that. The bug ones, I think, are kind of cool, though, so I always try to get some of the bug statues when I can. At least for some of the bugs that are a little bit cooler. I need you to assess my one fossil I have on me, Blathers. That's all you have to do. Okay, last stop before I just sell off the rest of the stuff I have to sell off. And... Basically, that'll be when I can move to Majora's Mask, which Majora's Mask, I think, will probably be a, um, like, I think generally it takes four to five hours for me to clear an area in that game. Well, I shouldn't even say clear an area. It takes, like, four to five hours to get, like, a three-day cycle, I think. Um, I can't remember, though. Cool. I've, I've already gotten all the uh, rewards you can get from uh, Brewster, I think. Because basically when you start going there every day, I mean, you don't have to go there every day, but I like to hit it up every day. Um, it'll give you rewards. And... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I cleared all of them because he never stops me on my way out anymore, which is what you do if he has any rewards. Oh, hey there, Filippo. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay. Just clear that from the queue really quick. I always like to stay on top of that when I can. How's it going today, Filippo? Okay, um... Yeah, nothing else to sell. I guess one thing I do want to do is find a spot for the non-pasta. Non uh, I do want to find a spot for the uh, wind turbine I have. Great, finally the weekend. Hey, that's that's always good to hear. Everyone loves the weekend, right? Except for uh, except for Mavris, because he prefers the weeb life. Okay, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So. I think I'll just set up behind someone's house as like their personal little uh, windmill, wind turbine. Well, you know, <laughs> I was going more like based upon that, uh, that that song you made, the Weeb Life. 100% you. I can't imagine that there's any 
help with anyone else on that. Okay. Cool. We got everything uh, settled there. And then um, I don't think Cyrus is on the on Harvest Island right now, which would be the only thing for that. Oh, I was just joking because, like, I know that I know that there was other people involved in the uh, the weeb life. I wrote half of it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean by I wrote half of it and I mix and mastered it for you. Like that just doesn't sound like a thing that ever happened. I am kind of... Oh, oh, I, I think I know what you were going to show me today, actually. Because I, I remember you were talking about, um... You were doing, like, um... Um... Album art for it. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing that that's probably... What you're going to show off. I should play a demo of it at some point. Um, if you want me to do a demo of it, I could at some point. Oh! <gasps> Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. I fucking love that game. Guys, we're, we're going to have to play this game at some point. Uh, let's switch up to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Let me just switch up my tags really quick. We're just going to truck right along through games as we go through this until... Uh, we get to the point where things start getting a little bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna have Mavericks drive out here, and then uh, he'll uh, he will come and uh, sit in my chair for me and uh, finish the stream, obviously, while I take a nap. <laughs> Okay, last time, last time we um, cleared out the Snowhead Temple. Uh, so today is the Ocean Temple. For that, though, there are a few things that we need to do. Okay, I gotta get used to these buttons again. Like, trying to play this on a Switch is a little bit, um, a little bit challenging. Is Zelda seriously as good as they say? I really enjoy the Legend of Zelda series. I haven't played all the games, but I did play both the Nintendo uh, 64 games. I also played the um, um, Super Nintendo one. I didn't. I haven't played any of the um, GameCube ones yet. I did play um, Breath of the Wild for the Switch, so all of them I've played, I've really enjoyed, but they're probably not for everyone. So, oh, oh my God, I don't have any money on me. I always forget. <laughs> okay, let's let's go out and grab some money. Uh, Majora's Mask is probably my favorite, or if not my favorite, top two. Breath of the Wild is really, really, really good. And I have mixed feelings on it because it's like, it's really good, but it's not like quite the regular traditional Zelda game since it's just super, super open world. Or like Zelda games are kind of open world, but not fully, since they lead you along to different areas. But yeah, um, if you're going to play a Legend of Zelda game, I would probably recommend like starting with like whichever system is your favorite. So if you've played any of the old Nintendo systems and like, you know, those are some of your favorite systems, I might start there. Otherwise, you know, if you have like a Switch or something, maybe, maybe you can just start with um, like Breath of the Wild. 
Let's see here. Can I sneak past this dude? No, I can't. Actually, I have an idea here. I mean, I can just talk to him and get out. I just want to see if I can um, sneak past him, basically. Okay. That was, uh, that was a no. Doesn't really matter. I have to go here. Uh, one thing with Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is that basically you repeat the same three-day cycle but do different things. And some of the side stories in mini games um, do require you going to them during different times in the three-day cycle to get all the rewards. <laughs> and this one, this one I almost did for the last round. I forgot to come here on the third day, so. Okay, let's see here. I'm just going to uh, spam out bomb cheese. Okay, maybe spamming out bomb cheese isn't going to work quite the way I was hoping it would. No, that was so close, damn. This is probably my least favorite of all of the uh, Honey and Darling minigames here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try again. Uh, let me let me readjust here. I was kind of sitting in like a little bit more hunched over position, so not the not what I find the most comfortable. Okay, let's try this one more time. There's one thing I've learned from like these uh, these types of mini games: it's just to uh, you know spam out what you can. Accuracy is overrated. <laughs> Oh my god, there we go. That one, that one actually hit there. <laughs> it's like actually not too hard to time them um, when you are on the first few levels, the first few rounds. But once it speeds up, the bomb chews are like so, uh, so much of a pain to actually hit with. Uh, the second day, though, is, um, it's like bomb basketball or something, I can't remember what they call it, but basically the point of the second day is you just have to, like, shoot bombs in the baskets, and then it'll blow up those baskets, and everything works out real well, but bomb chew bowling, not, not my favorite out of the mini games. Okay, we have to go to the um, ocean next, but before we can do that, we actually have to do some side content. Because basically, the ocean is walled off, 
and then with the wall there, uh, you can't actually pass it until you do some side quests. Uh, which also means that I'm probably going to do a couple of other side quests related to that. I just wanted to collect some items and stuff while I'm out here though. Since I forgot that when you start like a new three day cycle, or I guess when you load up a new three day cycle you only have like three hearts, which is a little bit of a pain. Oh, actually, I guess there is one more thing I should probably do. Uh, let's go like this and we'll just warp to the uh, uh, Goron village or whatever. Or um, Snowhead, Snowhead Temple. There we go. If you do have a Nintendo 64 and you have the possibility of ever trying this game on a Nintendo 64, I'd recommend it on the 64 more than the Switch. Like the Switch emulates it really well, but the problem is that like the Nintendo 64 had dedicated buttons for the C buttons, whereas you don't have dedicated buttons for those on the Switch. So they're a little bit more of a pain to use, and you do have to use them quite often. Um, yeah, let's actually go back out and then come right back in. I just realized I should have uh, tried to actually capture that fairy. Um, fairies are always great to have on hand in this game as they're basically what we'll call life insurance. Um, if you have a fairy in your inventory and you go down, uh, it'll basically bring you back up with um, a decent amount of health. I think at this point it'd be full health, but if you get all of the heart containers and stuff, I think it's like um, half health or maybe a little bit more than half health. I guess the other thing that's a little bit of uh, pain on playing this on the Switch is... Um, I feel like the Switch controller is a lot more sensitive than the Nintendo 64 controller. So, it can be a pain there sometimes. Plus, I don't recall the aiming controls being inverted on the um, Nintendo 64, but they are on the Switch, so... Uh, the cool thing when you are doing the temples and stuff is if you have to revisit a temple, you'll actually get this here. Uh, I'll read these out since I haven't read these lines yet. Ye who hold my remains. Return to the appointed place to face me. But yeah, basically what that allows you to do is you can just go straight to the boss. Um, so you don't have to do the dungeon again since the dungeon would be reset from the last time he did it. So I think in this three-day cycle, I'm going to uh, try to do this, try to do the Goron races, which uh, lets me upgrade something. And then um, what else do I want to try to do? Uh, obviously, I want to get to the ocean. I think there's some mini games and stuff for like heart containers out that way. I don't. I guess I actually don't know if I'll be able to get all of the ocean stuff done today, because the ocean stuff there's actually almost like two different. Um, there's almost two different like dungeons kind of, because there's like the uh, water temple. But then there's also, like, the Pirate's Fortress, so... 
lot to do in the ocean area. I think the only area that has more to do in it is probably the um, last area of the game. And by last area, I just mean like last temple area. Because there is an area behind or beyond that you can go, well, you have to go to to fight the final boss. But that's going to be a while. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll get that done during the 24 hour stream, depending on like how much of other stuff we end up playing, or if we just focus on this for a big portion of it. Oh, that was that was a little bit cheap there. I think that's a cheap shot. <laughs> that was also a cheap shot. Yeah, like, uh, the shot he does like that, they're usually pretty easy to avoid, but sometimes they can be a little bit harder to avoid, because they will kind of track you, basically. And yeah, if, if they track you well enough, um, even if you do what would be a good dodge, they'll still get you. Yeah, there becomes a lot more obstacles as you go on in this fight. Like, when you first start it, all you have to do is really dodge the rocks and those uh, lightning blasts that he shoots out. Unless he gets too far away, then you also have to dodge the um, other lightning blasts. Luckily, though, we didn't have that issue today. Uh, does this have, like, anything to refill my hearts? No, it doesn't. That's fair. I kind of figured it wouldn't, but who, 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 uh, who knew? Hopefully it doesn't make me go back to the giant cutscene for this. Um, okay, it doesn't. I didn't think it would, but I knew there was a chance that it would. Uh, while we're here, I'm going to go talk to the smith and the um, other guy in here. I mean, he already said that. <laughs> oh, a customer? Gabora, fetch our customer some coffee, quick-like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. All right, to reforge your sword, it'll cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Ooh, Mamba, thank you for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it is 24 hours, and uh, it was a community point reward that I'm finally getting to. I mean, I think it was completed within the last week, so it's not like I put it off for a real long time. Uh, keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it'll lose its edge, and it'll be back to its original sharpness. Aw, uh, thank you for the lurk there, Mavris, as well. Much appreciated, guys. So, would you like your sword reforged for 100 rupees? Uh, good luck, good luck, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for it. I mean, I was pretty excited for it, and uh, I do have caffeine and water, and I'll I'll, I'll have uh, some breaks throughout the stream to, like, you know, get food, get extra water, uh, use the restroom, all that stuff, so I'm not too concerned yet. I know probably about the 16-hour mark, I'll probably be a bit more concerned about it, but thank you for the good lucks. I uh, could definitely use it. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Okay, and then they just kick me the fuck out. Uh, let's see here. The next thing that we need to do for the reforging of the sword is not come up here. Is come over here. 
Oh, actually, I need to warp back to town. Because I don't think I'll have enough for a, uh, um, uh, a bomb keg here. So yeah, let's warp back to town. I have to get a bomb keg from town. I'll have to mix up some uh, mint and water in my uh, shaker cup and get some minty water going. I always find that that really helps uh, with maintaining my throat so it doesn't feel as rough towards the end. Um, bomb keg, that's what I want. So the cool thing here is now that we have the Goron's Mask, we can actually just pick up bomb kegs and... Um, they're actually cheaper to buy here in um, Clock Town than they are in the Goron Village, I believe. All you have to do is come over here and speak to this Goron. Oh, of all places. You're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So, won't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees? How about it? I'll buy one. So yeah, powder keg, that's what they're called. Powder kegs made by my instructor are extremely powerful. Come back and see me if you run out. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, now that we have access to the powder keg, that's going to let us get to an area that we couldn't get to before. Uh, but we do have to get to here on the first day. We don't actually have to do all the stuff in the area to actually get to the ocean. But we will do... A chunk of it right now. But first, I want to see if I can kill this bird. Yeah, this bird right here, it actually takes quite a few hits to kill this guy, but if you can do it, like, uh, it rewards you pretty handsomely. So we're going to take them out. I can't remember how many, like, fire arrows. Uh, I guess it takes however many punches I gave it and uh, how many fire arrows. Uh, but you can see we get, like, I think that's called a big rupee. Uh, which will actually, I think, give us 200 rupees at a time, so... Or it might give us 500 rupees, but since we have a maximum capacity of, um, 200, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do this now. Okay. And then because we're not patient enough to wait for this bomb to go, we're just going to blow it up. Hey, as long as it's open to traffic, it's fun. Uh, basically, that guy, he'll pick away at that rock um, all the time until I think the third day is when he finally clears it. But there are some time-sensitive things you actually have to do before the third day. So we're going to get those done. Well, at least I guess get them started. Because to do any of them, you actually have to be here first day. Um... If you miss the first day, basically, it kind of seals off all the extra things you can do. Look! Isn't that your horse? Yes, us is the Goron. We're gonna ride that horse, we just crush Epona. Uh, so, we're going to talk to this girl out here. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? King Crab Zero. King Crab Zero? That's a nice name, but... How about 
Grasshopper. That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. And this is where we find out that Romani watches a bit too much about, uh, you know, conspiracy theories. They... they come at night, every year, when the carnival approaches. They come riding in a bright shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? We'll hit her with a yes. Great, now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay then, I'm going to going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for the barn and approach it slowly. So hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? Ah, oh, fuck, man. I think if you get the record, um, you get some sort of uh, reward that's pretty decent, actually. But, I don't know, man. Okay, where's that? Like, I think you might get a heart container, which, you know, definitely good item and definitely a good reward. Okay, opponent, I was hoping you'd corner a little bit better. God damn. <gasps> nope. Yes! Okay, I even got the uh even got the goal there. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I remember it being. 5216. Amazing. It's a new record. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now, you two keep getting along, and go practice some more. The horse seems to like this song. Yeah, no, uh, we'll learn the Pona song, which is kind of funny, because honestly, we should already know this, um, given that, you know, Link knew it in the past game. It is upon a song. The song of two who are bound by trust. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get into if they get in the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yes. The operation starts tonight at two. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. Romani, the ranch girl, was added to your notebook. You've taken on the job of a nighttime assistant. This was added to your notebook. Uh, so, she is someone we need to help, as the bomber notebook shows. Um, oh my god, let's see here. We'll just switch to regular arrows for now, and let's switch out the bomb keg for just regular bombs. We don't need anything right now, I just... I just want to sort out my inventory a little bit so I don't have any useless items in my inventory. Um, I just want to see where her sister is because she does have an older sister here. Um, 
I'm trying to remember what your older sister's name is. Oh, I think it's Crimea. Let's, let's check upstairs. Well, I'm just going to invade Crimea's bedroom. Okay, uh, where the hell is her sister? I'm going to go back out to the barn one more time. I can't imagine that she's out in the barn. Because I thought she was in the house at this point. Oh, I bet she's out in the field, actually, because I saw cows out and about, and she's normally tending to the cows. I didn't know that a roll could actually damage a chicken. Or, I guess, a cuckoo. Uh, for any of those that haven't played Zelda games, um, cuckoos are a force to be reckoned with. If you hit them three times, basically they'll start swarming you until either you leave the area that you attack them in, or you just die. So... Ooh, actually, what's up top the roof? Oh, I wonder if that would be just a really good vantage point for um, the... alien operation, we'll call it. Taking care of the aliens. Um, can I jump? No. That would have been nice, though. Yeah, this wouldn't be the prime spot because there are some aliens that come from the other way. Um, actually, instead of riding Epona, I'm just going to roll around. Like, Epona is a good way to travel, but honestly, the Goron roll is, like, the best way to travel in this game. So once you get the Goron's mask, you're like set for fast port transit. Fast pace transport. Um, didn't see her there. Didn't see her there. Not around there. I just want to find where, like, uh, there's any other cows that she might be around. And we'll actually stop the uh, few cows that are out and about. Oh, she is over here. I just didn't see her because I was coming from this way. Yeah, so she was hidden behind the cow when I was coming this way. Oh my, did you come from town? Then that means Milk Road is open to traffic. Good. Um, let me just take a look here. I can deliver milk to town again. Welcome to Romani Ranch, Chateau Romani's village. Enjoy yourself. Uh, Kremia, the ranch owner, is added to your notebook. She's a, she's a real sweet gal, let me tell you. And she does have, like, um, I think you only have to help her with, like, one mission, but... What it unlocks for you is pretty great, so... Uh, we're going to go over here, because we can actually get a mask over here that is definitely worth having. Basically, if you don't feel like Goron rolling around everywhere, uh, this is the mask that you want. But we'll unlock it in just a second. Uh, basically, what I did to unlock it is you do have to actually um, do the Guru Guru... Um, Quest first, which is basically just listening to his story. Uh, but you will need the Bremen mask because he does kind of tell you what you need to do. 
Uh, let's talk to this guy first. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Ah, uh, oh well. My only regret is I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The cuckoo loving grog was added to your notebook. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do one of these and then what we do is we just have to march around. I think there's ten of these guys to collect so you do have to kind of uh, cover a lot of area a lot of times. Like, normally there will be some really close to each other, but then, like, once you get towards the end, yeah, um, you definitely have to go further. Okay, there's two more right over there. I just want to check behind this wall. <clears throat> okay, none were hiding right behind that wall. Let's go collect this one. Oh! Okay, okay, I did manage to collect the one from the other side. Seeing these guys with a crust and all. I don't have any regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. You got the bunny hood. My, what long years it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. Yeah, yeah. You fulfilled the wishes of youth. This was added to your notebook. Uh, Bunny Ears is a really good mask, actually. Um, it's useful if you have to be Link and get around because it speeds you up um, quite a bit. Like, I think it basically doubles your move speed. And then um, it's actually useful for getting another mask. Um, I don't even know if I have the person for that mask in my notebook yet. Loading up super high on me. How unfair. Uh, let's grab Epona. Even though it's faster to travel by Goron, uh, the thing I want to do next does require me to use Epona. So. Come on. Come on, girl. Here we go. And luckily I have, like, uh, full money, so it uh, should be pretty... Oh, wait. Actually, let's uh, get down off of Pony real quick. I hadn't realized... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't, uh... I can't unlock the owl statue right now, actually. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you pushed control stick forward, or it would run faster if you pressed A? This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for the chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. Uh, so we'll race them. It's a simple race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat us to finish line, you win. 
Yeah, yeah, you ready? Oh, yeah. These guys cheat, too. Because you can see they even go before the um, timer got down. Uh, basically, what we want to do is we want to get ahead of this guy and squeeze him out. And then um, we can just ride out the uh, carrots and stuff. Just gonna go straight here. Oh my god, what the hell, Opona? I literally, oh my god, she was going fast enough, she should have jumped. That was stupid. That was stupid. Ha ha, we won. Ah, oh, fuck me. Yeah. I've never been a big fan of this race in this game either. It's always a bit of a pain. Okay, this one's going much less good than the last one started. Especially since, like, when you bump into them, you lose, like, some of your momentum. Oh my god, he barely beat me. What the fuck? Can opponent... No, I guess they didn't. I can't believe we lost. Big bro, I wonder if we can give that to this guy. Why, well, gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid, so what could he do with it? It should be fine. You got the Garo's mask. The wandering ninja spirits who appear at Ikana once wore this. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. You rubbed the Gorman Brothers' noses in it. This was added to your notebook. The suspicious Gorman Brothers were added to your notebook. Okay, um, let's do this. It actually reminds me there is another... Like, there's a lot of things I can do right now. Um, like, maybe not quite yet. Hmm. Trying to think, actually. Where should I go from here? Uh, let's go to the ocean. Just to unlock another mask. And I was trying to think of, like, what I want to do next, basically. Because, yeah, with the uh, Garo mask, we can unlock another area, but we don't have an item to get to that area yet. Um, but with Epona, I guess there is another mask that we can try and get. Ah, uh, man, there's just so many things we can do right now. Uh, so when you come this way, you'll notice that there is a collection of seagulls out over there. Uh, so we're going to stop and actually go out here. As you can see, something floating in the water. Uh, somebody. Uh, please. Get, get me to shore. Okay. Uh, so what you have to do is you just have to push him to shore. Uh, for that, let's line up with him. It's a little bit of a pain to get lined up perfectly, especially with the uh, um, pro controller or whatever. But what you do is you just grab him, and you can just push him all the way there. This is one of the things that I'd see other people who stream the struggle with if it was their first playthrough. Which, um, 
I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah. It was one of the things that made me think I need to stream this because uh, I've seen enough people play this that are new to it. They just make me feel like, yeah, um, I would like to play it and uh, have it played a little bit, a little bit better. Not to say that, yeah, they did bad or anything, it's just they didn't notice some mechanics and they missed out on some stuff. Uh, you can see after we rescue him, he falls to shore there. Uh, I'm Mikau of the Zora people, guitarist in the Zora band. I think this is it for me, my final message. Will you listen to it? I'll listen. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sing out this stuff here though. I'm just gonna read it. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones they're waiting to see. But that girl, our vocalist, she laid some strange eggs and she lost her voice. He can't hear what she says. Whoa oh, in Great Bay, now something is happening, is it now? Oh, baby, listen to me. I don't want to beg. Gerudu pirates. They stole that girl's eggs. I went to stop the Gerudu pirates, then pow and bam, and got knocked down, and here I am. Baby, if I die like this, even if I die, it won't be in peace, that's for sure. Somebody, please rescue your eggs before the pirates take their toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please heal my soul. That's all. Thank you. So we're just going to uh, heal his soul. You know, uh, grab the ocarina out, play him the song of healing. Trying to play Saria's song there, and it's like, wait, that's not right. That's not what I need to do. While this plays out, I think it auto plays. I could be wrong though. I'm going to prep myself some minty water. see after that clip there um, we get the Zora's mask basically this is another transformation mask this one will let us turn to a Zora there are three main transformation masks for the three main non-human races um, Zora, Goron, and uh, Deku so now that we have that um, basically that seals those off or completes that set of masks. There is a couple of other masks that cause transformations, but one of them just uh, is more of a size difference, and then the other one is it's a bit of a special one. But I do plan on getting the uh, last mask as well, so. Okay, let me just shake up my... Uh, Nice minty water here. Oh, I just have something that'll be nice and gentle on my throat since I'm going to be talking a lot today. I mean, I talk a lot most every day, whether I stream or not. <laughs> Usually quite a quite talkative person, so. Okay. Yeah, that probably could be used as like a touch of sweetening. 
I might grab some, like, xylitol or something later on. Now let me check on something running in the background real quick. Okay. <clears throat> cool. The background thing I'm doing is going well. I'll talk about that later because there's something stupid I did with it. I would like for a few more viewers to be here so I can recount my stupidness. Or my farewell song on my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. So basically, he's, uh, he's dead and buried now. Um, you can see that we've taken his fish guitar and prepped him a uh, makeshift grave. Actually, yeah, what's weird about the sand there? I don't know why the sand's a different color. Like, it looks like regular dirt, even though it should just be sand. Uh, let's use the Zora transformation mask really quick, just because... Um, it's the newest one. <laughs> I always thought it was the one that, like, looked, like, most terrifying for him to take off, you know? Uh, just because they all make him look like he's in pain, but I almost feel like there's more suffering when he does that one. Uh, let me check here. No, I'm, I wouldn't be able to do that quite yet. Eh, maybe I can, actually. Eh, let's see. We're going to start the spider house really quick. Actually, no, before we do that, I want to check something in town. Oh, no, let's let's not do that actually. Because I just realized I don't have my... Oh, actually, I don't even have my sword on me. Fuck. Okay, we're, we're just going to... uh just going to warp back to town for now. There is something I do want to check in town, though. I guess with Azora's mask, like, it does kind of uh, act like a sword when you attack. So, I guess we should be fine. Uh, for anything that needs cut. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Let me think. Okay, I remember what I was going to do. <laughs> I want to go over to a building we haven't been in quite yet. Uh, which is right here. I can't remember. Yeah, I guess we can get in. Okay, um, let's see here. Okay, I guess we can't do it quite yet. Bar opens at night, sir. And it's members only. We refuse people who don't have proof of membership. Well, now I'm getting things ready, so as long as you don't get in the way of cleaning, you can stay. I uh, will talk to this guy. What are you staring at? Sounds like your show has been cancelled. You don't really need to be here anymore. I came to drink. I'm a customer. Well then, customer, the bar opens at 10 o'clock at night. Please wait till then, and besides that, this bar is for members only. Those without proof of membership will be refused entry. Well, I don't need milk. I just want to sit and think for a while. Just give me a place to do that. Fine, be my guest. You know what, like, uh, when we do come back with membership eventually, it's kind of, a uh, kind of lame. Also, I think the mask that you get, or I think, yeah, what you have to do to get the mask for, um, from him, which actually helps with another quest, is like kind of stupid. Like, we'll just say it's like, um, like if you buy um, a tool or something, and like that tool comes in clamshell packaging, 
and you, you have that moment of like, you know what would really help me open this clamshell packaging? The tool that's already inside this clamshell packaging. So by the time I get it out, it's not going to fucking matter. Uh, let's see. I just want to see if there's anything else I want to do while I'm here. Let's see if the uh, postman's in, actually. <clears throat> oh, wait. Wrong one. I guess the postman's one on the right. Okay, is the postman in? Oh, yes, he is. Sweet. So we're going to try to get another mask while we're here, then. Whoa! Okay, we move way too fast. Four, five, six... Wow, those ears! Are they fi Oh, they're fake! You startled me! Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I'm running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but it is quite difficult. Will you try? Yes. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds, and precise moment you think you've hit 10 seconds, or 10 on the dot, press A again. Uh, the cool thing is if you have bunny ears on, I think the timer stays up the whole time, or generally only stays up for, um, like, ah, oh, damn, that was a little bit, um, slow there. But yeah, like, uh, otherwise only stays up till, um, for like three seconds, I think. I think it's also cheaper with the bunny ears on. <sighs> I got a little bit jumpy there. I was like, uh, I was like, if I start quicker, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully land on ten. I think this is, uh, wait, no, this doesn't give you mass, this just gives you heart container. Ah, oh, within 0 .09 millis, or er, 0.09 seconds. <gasps> Sweet. There we go. <laughs> ah, 10 seconds. That is amazing. You have a reflex suit full for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. We get a piece of heart. Uh, you've collected two pieces so far. Collect two more to extend your life energy. I can't be like this. I'll have to train more. More! You showed your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. Uh, yeah, that's a cool thing, though, is if you have the bunny mask, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, we're going to take a look at his schedule here. This m week's schedule, morning, collection, afternoon, delivery, evening, practice. The week's motto, don't slack off, the heavens and the wife are watching, Meridor Tour. Okay. So, we got that done. Um, let me just see if there's anything else I need out this way. Actually, let's go to the regular shop here. I kind of want to buy some Deku Nuts, because I just don't have enough of those ever. Hey, that's nice. Maybe I can start carrying that in my store. I kid you not. Oh, I think he's talking about my bunny ears. Uh, people will re react to your mask sometimes. Welcome, what are you looking for? View items with a control stick. Uh, we don't need to talk to him. Actually, let's talk to him, see if he talks about his itchy back. <laughs> we don't have much, but uh, what we really do have is the best. No, really, just take a look. 
Uh, 10 Deacon Nuts, 30 Rupees. Good enough for me. Hey, thanks again. Uh, let's do this. Yo, hey, baby. I'm a style and scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Mm, shall we dance? No. Oh, sorry. That's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you want to decide to dance. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to uh, manipulate the flow of time. You want to learn it? No. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, let me hear a song written by you, baby. Uh, we'll just, uh... We're, we're gonna make a really complex song. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. Ah, you motherfucker. Okay, let's, uh, let's try again. Oh, babe, that's a nice thing you got there. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice tune, baby. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to play the flow of time. Want to learn it? No. Okay, if you'd like to see me again, play that song you just played for me. I'll see you later, baby. So yeah, basically with uh, with what we just did, we got what's called the Scarecrow song or whatever. Um, I don't think it... I don't know, let's see here. Okay, I guess it does technically mark it that way. Uh, while we're here, I'm going to deposit some more rupees with the banker. Okay. But yeah, depositing rupees with the banker is uh, always good because you get rewards at different points. I think the next reward comes with a thousand rupees, though, so um, I'm not quite close to that. I don't think there's anything we need to do with the lottery. <clears throat> okay, owl statue's good. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do in town. No, nothing else I really need to do in town, so what we will do then is we're going to put on the Goron's Mask and uh, go outside of town. And then I think I will head to the ocean again and we'll start on the Spider House. We'll see if we can actually make any progress on it. See, I would warp out here, but <laughs> since I forgot to um, actually... No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. But yeah, since I forgot to, um... Do, uh, well, since I don't have my sword, we'll say. Can't even really say I forgot. Since I don't have my sword, it might be a little bit of a challenge. Plus, I think the spider houses kind of require a little bit more stuff than you always have for an area. So... Okay. Let's, uh, let's go like this. Can actually get a running start at this uh, fence here. Yeah, if I was uh, smart enough to, like, think about making sure I had the sword for this, we would be much better off. Because uh, you do have to cross swords, you can't cross, like, anything else with the uh, Owl Statue to activate it. Um, yeah, let's just do the Spider House first if we can. I don't think we'll be able to do everything, but I could be wrong. Horus mask. We're going to definitely have this equipped since um, this will basically give us a sword equivalent. Though it doesn't work on owl statues. Plus the other thing it will give us is boomerangs which are super useful. Or I think they might be called Zora rings. Oh, my God. 
Oh, that was that was good. Oh, actually, I guess we can't access this quite yet. There is an item that we need in the area first. Um, if that's the case, then ah, shit. I need the um. <laughs> I need the Goron's mask to get out of here. What a lovely treat. We'll just leave here, and there's a couple of things we can do, or a few things. I mean, there's lots of things, actually. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a trip to... Um, I think I'm going to make a trip to, like, kind of the Stonehead area. Stone, Stonehead? Stonehead? Hey there, Denki. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day today. Catch me during no, no, the... No, 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 Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. That was uh, that was terrible, opponent. Come on. Give me some hustle, horse. Jump. There we go. That time she just jumped everything. Um... Okay. I remember where I'm going now. Oh, I was hoping that would have like actually taken one of these guys out, but apparently not. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, ah, oh, fuck, I've been cursed, but it actually doesn't matter because I don't have a sword on me. So, uh, let's go this way, though, as, uh, basically there's an enemy and I guess some more side content I can try to do out here. Oh, man. Well, we'll see how many things I can actually get done, given the fact that I'm trying to take on, like, several, hello, motherfucker. <laughs> several days worth of content. Yes, hello, motherfucker, to you as well. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, Ikana Graveyard. There we go. That's what it's called. Yeah, I think have, being cursed while I already have no sword is almost insult to injury. Because it's like, hey man, I don't have a sword to try and attack with right now anyway. Like, come on. Come on. Um, can I be a Zora and do this? Let's see. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Where the fuck is Mavris? Um, he gave me a lurk, so I'm guessing he probably went to bed already. We'll see, though. Maybe he's out there still listening. Uh, listening to me talk shit about him. Do 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 do. Okay, that's the one that is. Okay, see, there's Mavris. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, let's, uh... Oh, man. Okay, okay. I forgot that factoid. I forgot that's a thing that could happen as a Zora. Oh, Try this again. Do-do-do-do-do. Do. Nope. The C buttons for this on uh, the Switch console is, uh, it's really throwing me still. Really throwing me. Okay, can I, like, get close enough to do one of these? Yeah, we're just gonna touch this. That That's not going the way I was hoping it would. 
Ähm. Nahenpaste. Nahenpaste. Let's see here. Um, what is going to be the best course of action for not having a sword for this? Okay, we're going to put on the Deku mask. <laughs> it just uh, it's a it's a sound battle over there now. I guess I do probably need my ocarina. The Great Fairy Mask will tell you if there's fairies in the area, and if so, um, it'll also basically... Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's try the Goron's Mask. Yeah, it'll tell you if there's fairies in the area if you're in a temple, and then otherwise it'll... Um, bring stray fairies to you so you don't have to travel all the way to them. Okay, I think Goron's Mask is going to be the best bet. Okay, okay. We're just going to, uh, we're going to start with the Goron Mask this next time. Not having a, um... Not having a sword is not the way to go, apparently. <laughs> well, I mean... He is stronger than the other two against fire. Um, the Zora and the Deku Scrub, if you touch fire, you just go up in flames. And then uh, you have to restart the area. Okay. So... Let's see if I can actually catch up to him this time. Here, actually, let's go like this first. I think... I'm gonna say... Oh, man. That's unfortunate. I was I was thinking I'd been close enough at that point. Come on, let me let me hit this guy real quick. Okay, that did not go the way I was hoping it went. Fuck. Not having a sword makes this, like, challenge so much harder. But I do want to get it right now, so we'll, uh... We're just going to come back solely as a Goron. I think only being a Goron should work. I just got to focus only on hitting enemies as quick as possible. I do 
think that the firewalls are a little bit slow sometimes to come down. That's always a little bit of a pain. No, fuck. That one was completely unfair there. <laughs> like, that firewall took its sweet time to come down, and if it had went away sooner, I could have rolled up close enough. Because I think if you're right behind him, I think he'll still see you, and then he'll fight you when he turns around. But yeah, that time, like, I don't know. If I wouldn't have hit that first firewall, I probably could have done it. It just, it always feels like they take forever to come down. Okay, let's, let's try this again. This time, this time we're going to succeed, we're going to win. Okay, sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, it is my loss. Sheath your weapon. I commanded the Ikana army of Ikana Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skull Kita. Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman, I don't even have a sword right now, who has awakened and deftly defeated me. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men who, even in death, remain loyal to me. Tell them the war has ended. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir, may I take leave, sir? And then, uh, look at this. We're gonna stare him down for a bit. I've actually never seen this scene with anything but regular Link, because normally I would do it with regular Link. <laughs> it's a little bit absurd with Goron Link. I actually wonder if I can make it across the gap there. I might have to go back to uh, the ocean to retrieve this. We'll see, though. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think I can make this uh, make this jump if I go like this. Nah, let's try that again. Let's try from this side. Okay, that one was bad. I didn't get to the edge like I was hoping to. This is going to be the uh, the great stream of... Uh... Oh, actually, I think I know it would probably help a little bit, too. Now, we're just going to remove this for now and put on the bunny hood. <coughs> 
And I think the bunny hood actually helps in like making longer jumps. Yeah, it does. Sweet. Uh, theoretically, you should have the hook shot for this, but honestly, if you have uh, the bunny hood and the will, you can get the captain's hat. The ghosts of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to the symbol of authority. Uh, mostly, I wanted to get that for the um, the ocean spider house. As basically, there are some extra things you can do. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the fucking captain's hat. But yeah, there are some things you can do in the uh, ocean spider house with that. I think it's the ocean spider house. It might be the uh, swamp spider house. Huh? Ah, captain, sir. Excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, captain, sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. Um, what shall we do? We're going to go with open the grave. Uh, open it? Yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. And then, yeah, basically they'll destroy the grave for you. Uh, when they do, it'll expose an opening. So we're just going to hop right down in here. Uh, I think, I think the first day is an iron knuckle, maybe. I could be wrong, though. I hope not, because that will be a pain, especially without the, um, without a sword. I guess luckily, though, the Zora's mask kind of functions the same as an un-upgraded sword. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go with the Deku mask in here. That mask is actually surprisingly effective against keys. All you have to do is keep on spinning. Spin it to win it. When you're wearing the Deku mask, you just act like a Garen. That one's, uh, that one's for all of you LOL players that like uh, League of Legends players out there. Like Mavericks. Go. Look at that. That was easy enough. I think this chest will just have some rupees, and then um, basically we have to light these torches to get any further. Okay, got a purple rupee. It's worth 50 rupees. Cool. Um, let me switch out my equipment really quick. I'm going. Oh, I don't have a Deku stick. I guess I'll use up a little bit more um, of my magic than I would like to. And if you notice there, you can actually see the iron bars slip straight through the, like, door and go, um, up through the ceiling of it and just continue on. I actually just fly off screen, basically. Um, how does it... Okay, that didn't really do much. That was not the way I was hoping to dodge there. Whoa, 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 okay. Let's, uh... Let's switch up our tactic here. Oh my god, that goes straight through there. Come on. Am I game over on this iron knuckle? Given the fact that, like, uh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Like, once you defeat it, it gets really quick when it loses its armor. And the fucked up thing is that as soon as, um, oh, and I only have an extra fair. That's, that's fucked up, man. Um, but yeah, it lo once it loses its armor, it gets, like, super quick. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find myself another fairy somewhere.
And then hopefully if I find a fairy, I'll be able to um, defeat it. Because, yeah, I don't think that I was actually doing any damage to it with um, the Zora. Even though the Zora's uh, hits, I think, do about as much damage as the unupgraded sword. Which would normally damage it, so... Playing favorites against me. Now, this feels like the type of spot you'd bomb. I don't know what's going to be down here, but hopefully it's a fairy's fountain. That would, that would be lovely, actually. <clears throat> oh, it's not a fairy's fountain, but maybe one of these pieces of grass will have a fairy. you uh like this oh it's a bomb chew actually i don't think we've gotten bomb chews yet in this game the thing with bomb chews is you can really just get them whenever you don't have like a special bomb bag or anything for bomb chews um so not really a big fan of bomb chews they're usually only like kind of a limited use item honestly so Let's go do something out here really quick. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to put on the Lens of Truth, unequip the um, uh, Garan Mask, and we'll talk to this guy. Uh, don't tell me. That's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waved my arms around and asking for help. But everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm about as impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make me even... That would make even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? Okay. Shiro, the stone soldier, was added to your notebook. I didn't have the medicine you need, so what we're going to do... Actually, let me unlock one more thing while we're here. We're just, we're doing everything right now. Hee hee hee, that's a nice mask you're wearing. That is the mask of the leader, er, actually, let's, let's see here. That's the mask of the leader of the ninjas who once spied on the hilltop castle with a bloodstained history. With that, you may be able to call out their spirits that even now are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to save the souls that wander here. And yeah, what he'll do is he'll actually put a tree here. We only have the item to get up there quite yet. But we will keep that in mind for the nearish future. Uh, what we will do, though, is we're going to get back on Epona. Mostly because I don't want to just warp the clock down to get out of this area. Which would kind of be what I'd need to do. Um, since I can't warp to like what would be closest to where I want to go right now. Uh, what I want to do right now... Actually, we'll just stop Epona and we'll get off her. Uh, what I want to do right now is I want to go beat the one bird again. That, um gives all the money because you can bait that basically as much as you want it doesn't really make sense to beat it that often though unless you're just farming for coins uh, but I do just kind of want to fill up my coinage really quick because uh, I can't remember how much the um, medicine is like the red potion Oh my god. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, fucking god damn it. Ah, fuck. 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 Oh my god. Okay, that was about as bad as it could have been. Um. Ah, god damn it. You know what? I'm just going to go do the Goron races. I think that when you win the Goron races, I think they give you a bottle, so... Man, not having a sword is like literally just like the worst fate right now. <laughs> I really should have just fought that thing with fire arrows. Okay, um, I'm going to go check one of the shops here to see if I can just buy my bottle back right now. Also, I was, I actually did totally intend to go on to the Goron village or whatever. I just forgot. I was being dumb. Okay, how much you want for the bottle? Hi. Come in. We've got the goods tonight that came through good channels. I'll be, check the bargain. Okay, 20 rupees. Good enough for me. Fuck this guy. Oh, I don't have nothing else to sell. I kid you not. So, can I buy something? Um, let's say yes for now. Let's see what we have. I'll pay you good for it. Show it to me with C. Well, let's press start and open that up. I don't really care about bomb chews. Can I sell you a bomb chew? Sorry, but I can't sell that here. Okay, well, you can go fuck yourself then. Thanks, coming again. Uh, the man from the curiosity shop, uh, curiosity shop was added to your notebook. He, like the shopkeeper next door, also suffers from a uh, chronic back itch. Honestly, that was considerably cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought it was going to be like 10 quadrillion million quintillion bucks. And by I meant, I figured it was going to be 200 rupees, which is... uh. Not great. We've already done his dialogue before. I'll buy one, because we do need one for the Goron races, which is what we're going to go do right now. And then we've already seen that dialogue, so... um, Oh, wait. Let's get outside of here. If you try to do the Song of Soaring inside, it uh, basically just tells you that your notes drifted far away or something and had no effect. Uh, so you can't warp when you're inside. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's Snowhead and then the Goron Village and, uh, Goron races are this way, so we're gonna go open it up real quick. Okay. Powder keg, here we go. And then since I don't want to use up any of my magic before the race, we're just going to hit it with a normal arrow. You did it! Thanks a lot! I'm going right in. I'll be waiting for you, so... Uh, so you have to come see it. Okay. Um, um, look at him waddle off. Look at him waddle off. We're going to put on the Goron mask, though. And then I think we do talk to him to start the Goron races. Ah, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? Yep. You have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. Your magic power runs low. Charge it up with green chars on the course. 
Okay, cool thing with this is you can kind of like cheat this a little bit like the uh, Goron race. Or not the Goron race, but the uh, Gorman race. <clears throat> so you can actually have a rolling start compared to them. Uh, it is important to keep your spikes up and collect these um, magic jars. Oh, what the hell? Fucking bastards! Okay, can I... Well, that one... Uh, angle wasn't working out for me. Um, Motherfucker. Yeah, great. Dar Darmy is such a wonderful Goron. So much stronger than the others. Um, he can't even, like, take a roll from a normal Goron. The, uh, the Goron races have always made me a little bit salty, though. Because, like, it has the worst rubber banding AI. Um, that, yeah, we'll, we'll make Mario Kart feel like just the most amazing thing. <laughs> but we were able to get it done first try. So that that's actually a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. That was great. I knew you were the fastest Gorder on Darmy. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. You got a bottle of gold dust. This is the finest quality available. I want to be just like you. Quick. Okay, yes, sweet, and this n new bottle, so that is, that is good. What time is it? Oh, 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 okay, it's one. Uh, we're going to rush out of here, uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll do the, um, Song of Soaring. Uh, because we do have to get to, um, Romani Ranch super quick. Uh, we're just going to warp to Clock Town because I don't have the warp for um, Milk Road, I think is what the area is right before Romani Ranch. So, now let's see here. I can't remember. Actually, I think it's kind of in between this way and um, the other way. So, oh, fuck, it's already two. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Everything that could go wrong in this, like, three-day period of time is, like, literally just going wrong. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Um... That's just... that's super disappointing, honestly. Um... I'm going to roll there just in case, but I, I don't think there's going to be anything there. Like, I think it's going to be over already. I mean, I kind of took the scenic route, but that's mostly because I was already frustrated. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yep. Yep. It looks like it's already done. Already done and over. Oh, oh, maybe not, actually. <gasps> Sweet. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, 2 o'clock exactly is apparently not an exact time. Um, I'm going to wait for them to get closer. As you can actually shoot them from pretty far away. But uh, they'll just kind of respawn like where they originally started from, so it doesn't really make sense to try and aim from them re from really far away, because it'll just basically respawn right there. And then in this, you are kind of tasked with the choice of whether or not to let time return to regular because they are 
like their movements mostly based on like what time it is or I guess how quick the flow of time is so if you slow down time they become much easier uh, if you speed up time they become a bit harder I mean they're still not that hard but yeah they do become a bit harder at that point I was going to let them get a little bit closer here. Uh, this one, I think, will be the first one that will shoot once he comes out. Or actually, no, we'll get this guy. I don't know, actually, this one's getting a little bit closer than I'd like him to. Uh, the one that's behind, like, comes from the back area from behind the barn is always, like, the, uh, one that, if you're new to this, seems like it's most likely to trip you up. Luckily, though, you can actually see them marked on the map, so as long as you're paying attention to your map, they shouldn't be able to sneak up on you. There we go. Yeah, again, we'll just let them get kind of close because, honestly, it doesn't really matter until they're, like, super close. Except for that one, because he'll be a little bit behind the barn if I don't take him out. Yeah, that one back there and that one over there are my main concern right now. Okay, I don't think I've taken these ones out yet, and they do spawn pretty far away, so might as well get at them. There we go. I'll let this one get a little bit further. I'm not too concerned. Um, it really gets to about, like, probably right by the box, basically. Okay, that one's still not out far enough where I can see him. Uh, we will take this guy out, though. Again, just because I don't want him to tuck behind the uh, barn. Cool thing is, is for this, um, when you kill these guys, they'll actually drop arrows for you. And if you don't want to collect their arrows, you can actually just collect some more arrows from the box. Uh, since I do have the biggest quiver already, I'm not too concerned about arrows. And I think the dog will also kind of let you know which one is the closest currently to the barn. So, he's kind of helpful. Um, not too concerned though, because again, you don't really have to worry till they're like pretty close to the barn. <clears throat> okay, I think I'll have to shoot this one and the one behind the house one more time, maybe two more times, but we'll see. These ones, I think this is basically the final time I'll have to shoot them, since they're normally pretty far away when they spawn. That one I can still let wander further. That one's getting uh, a little bit closer. Um, we'll just shoot that one now. Not too concerned about them. Okay. And they should be dead here really soon. I don't think you have to wait for the time to change. I think they'll die at like 5.30 in the morning. So we literally only must have them beat. The only way I could really lose right now is if I run out of arrows and uh, 
that's only going to happen if I miss. Because I don't think that one, that one, that one, or that one, or even the one that's a little bit more that way, are going to get close enough to be any real risk. Okay. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Look at that. Even better than expected. Was it 5.30 or was it like 5.15? I wasn't paying attention. 5.15. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks to you. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. You got a milk bottle. One quick gulp will give you, uh, have you feeling great. You see to take a drink. It will recover five hearts per gulp. This bottle contains two, two gulps. When it's empty, recycle the bottle. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. You helped the ranch girl and save the cows. This was added to your notebook. Okay. I'm always glad to get that mission done. Um, it's like, basically, if you don't do it, she ends up basically... I can only describe as lobotomized. Okay, can I sneak into the house? Like, I just want, I want some more arrows, basically. Fine, I guess I won't steal any arrows. Or, actually, there's some grass over here. Maybe I'll get some arrows from the grass. Sweet. Uh, now I just need some magic jars. Oh, that was bad. That was real bad. <laughs> Cool. So now that we have that out of the way, um, I think we're gonna go find me some fairies. I think you can actually get fairies from uh over here. Let's see though. Oh, I see. I see a little gray kitty cat sneaking up on me. Stocking over here. We're just gonna drink our milk right now. Oh, misty, misty. I was gonna shove my keyboard out of the way just in case she wants to lay on my desk for right now. I guess talking about kitty cats. Um, at some point here, pretty soon, I'm actually gonna have to go let my uh, roommate's kitty cat out of its area since my roommate's out of town. And uh, basically, she has her own little room that. He tucks her away into for the night since she disturbs everyone. And yeah, he always lets her out around like 6 or 7 a.m., which it's 6 right now. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably, probably let her out in like 30 minutes or something. And while I do that, I'll probably either grab something to eat or maybe just take a really quick breather or something. Oh, uh, she ends up disturbing everyone. Ryan's cat does. Uh, like, Luna just is not the type of cat that will settle down and be calm and stuff. Um, she is... She's a handful. Let me, let me just say that. I currently have a Misty Cat on my desk. If she lays down, I might just turn my, uh... Ooh, actually, she is laying down. There we go. Let's, let's see one of these. Eh, mm -hmm. There we go. Can I, can, I get a, can I get a view of my pet here? Eh, not really. I was hoping I could just, like, put my camera in such a way that would just focus on her. But yeah, no, uh, Luna will, like, get up and she'll knock stuff off of, like, um, tables and, like, um, she'll just be super noisy. She'll, like, get up on people's business while they're trying to sleep. Whereas Misty, she'll usually, like, the only person she usually disturbs while they're sleeping is me. Like, if I'm trying to sleep, like, Misty will sometimes just calm up and wake me up uh, if she needs anything, but she doesn't do that a lot right now since she can basically just leave my room whenever she wants. 
Uh, let me see here. Okay, I know what I want to do. Let's get on a pony here. I know, Misty, I know. I catch just looking at me like, hey, you going to, uh, you going to give me some attention? Okay, let's go see if we can, um, <clears throat> clear out the, uh, grave area over there. Because I think the grave will remain open for, like, the, uh, whole time now. Okay, sweet, it does. But yeah, we'll just go down here. Hopefully the keys aren't back. That'd be a little bit of a pain if they were. Actually, what were in these pots? I'll be a little bit uh, cheesed if there's a fairy in one of these two pots, which there might be. Okay, there's not. Thank God. <laughs> Man, life's so hard without a sword. Ah, oh, they lunged forward a little bit that time. Okay, okay. Let's see. Hopefully it stays locked in that position while I uh, get, like, probably an iframe or two. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Now that I know that, like, um, you know, Goron can damage that, but Zora can't, I'm all good. Like... Iron Knuckles are super easy as just regular human Link, but again, since I don't have a sword, uh, there's not really much I can do to attack it. Are you the one who freed my soul? I serve the Ikana royal family. I'm the composer called Flett. The songs connected to the royal family that remained here were all composed by my brother and I. <clears throat> oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one that locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you were to meet my brother, if I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. Okay, we're going to go learn the song. If you guys are Zelda regulars, you might recognize the song. Let's go pick it up here. I oh, wait, I guess I have to read it. Okay. <laughs> The thousand. Oh, okay. I, I mean, literally, I already said that. <laughs> Here is written the song that shall cleanse his cursed black soul. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. I think you can actually get um, Nintendo 64 style controllers for the Switch. I might have to do that sometime. You remembered the Song of Storms. This melody that you've heard before is the turbulent tune that blows curses away. Okay, um, I don't need that bomb that the um, thing had left. 
Let me think. Do I need anything else from Ikanya? I don't believe that I do. So, Misty. Okay, I guess I'll just look at the other screen. Misty. I mean, my preview on the um, streaming screen's like not quite as big. So, it's a little bit of a pain. I think what I will do now is go to Clock Town. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. Let's go to the Mountain Village because um, my sword should be ready and I need to prep it for like another day. Uh, but the cool thing is that as long as I get my sword back in today, it'll be fine. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Your Kokiri sword has been strengthened and forged into a razor sword. This new, sharper blade is a cut above the rest. Use it up to 100 times without doling its superior edge. Now keep in mind that after you've used this 100 times, the blade will lose its edge and will return to its original sharpness. Now here's a secret, if you bring me gold dust before the sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust. Okay. Uh, we will get him gold dust here in just a bit. Before I do, though, I want to go unlock a couple of um, warp points. Uh, a couple of owl statues, I guess, would be the better way to describe it. Um, I'm going to go to the Southern Swamp. That's actually really close to Romani Ranch and Milk Road. Misty, are you interested in what's on screen right now? Is that why you're looking at the uh, screen? Okay. Um, I'm going to pick up another fairy here. Okay, it's the other one with the fairy. And then let's just uh, head out. Okay, um, this way, sweet. Cat just cleaning herself in front of me. She's like, ah, oh, since you're, uh, since you're here, watch me clean myself. <clears throat> so the next one that I want to unlock is the one at the ocean. Uh, before I get to the ocean, though, I think I'm going to call Epona right here. That way I don't have to deal with all the the uh, levers. I always, uh, always find it funny that Epona will just appear out of nowhere. Oh, hey, Misty. Let me uh, pet my cat really quick. Since she's crawling off my desk. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I can actually look at my regular screen. Since I don't have a cat in front of it.
Okay, let's stop right here. Now we are going to have to put on the Zora's mask. But with that, um, let us get over to this other owl statue over here. And we're just going to unlock this because this is going to be super useful. Okay, I'm going to dive really quick and just show off a mechanic with the Zora's Mask. Um, I think it's... Yeah, there we go. So yeah, when you're underwater, if you actually shield and then hit the punch button, it'll uh, give you this kind of like lightning shield. I just wanted to show that off because a lot of people that I've seen play this game, at least for the first time, uh, don't seem to know about that mechanic. And it is very, very necessary if you don't want to hate this game. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go over here real quick. Actually, no, let's go to uh, Clock Town. Or no, the Mountain Village. Let's go to the Mountain Village. Uh, so yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll go take my sword back in to um, get it upgraded to the final step. And then... Um, I will go to Clock Town to do the second day of the Honey and Darling uh, shop or thing, whatever you want to consider it. Also, I want, I want to check what's behind this waterfall. Let's do that after I put my sword away. Or give my sword up. Oh, a customer. Sorry, but we only, I do only swords and cutlery. Oh, pff, that's right. I'm Zora. Ugo. <laughs> oh, a customer. Gabora, fetch our customer some coffee, quick-like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Hey now, that's a mean joke. Your sword already has been reforged into a razor sword. Unless, you want me to make your sword stronger? Do you that? I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? Okay. I, I feel like uh, I feel like I shouldn't have to show it to him, but hey, we'll show it to him. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality. Why, even if I use this to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left. Alright, just for you, I'll do this for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. I'm back tomorrow morning. Okay. I just wanted to uh, make sure we got that project started. I guess while we're here in the area, I can't remember... Is there... Oh yeah, I think there's like a chest with rupees right here. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's dive into this water. I just want to see if there's anything... Of note down here. Because sometimes hidden away in these water areas will be things that are kind of useful. Like I think over um, in this area over here by the Goron races, I think there's um, something useful hidden in the water. I could be wrong though. I feel like there's like a heart piece or something. Okay, what do we have? Yep, heart piece. Okay, uh, let me just check around here, see if there's anything else. I think that's all, but again, I could be wrong. Oh, hey, Misty. <laughs> I see you're back to bother me again. 
Okay, um, I'm going to do the Goron race one more time. Because I think you get gold dust each and every time you do it. And gold dust is actually something you can sell at the curiosity shop for quite a good profit. Um, since I don't have the Giant's Wallet, I actually can't get the full value out of it at this point, but... I might have the Giant's Wallet before the very end of this all. I will race again since we've already done this, uh, thing, and since we already had his, um, dialogue before, I'm not gonna reread it. Kitty cat, but you're uh, you're paying the ass sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's try and get through these without getting caught up in the trees. Okay, cool. That one's always the one that's like most worrisome to me. Yeah, you gotta be careful on those those sections right there because if you fuck up and fall off, like you're you're done for. You're gonzo. Gamma, gamma, gamma. What the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I be as fast? Okay, okay. Yep, we're gonna enter again. I feel like the last time it, it treated me a little bit nicer in terms of like the speed of them, but that time definitely not. Um, can we get a good roll here? There we go. Yeah, these guys for some odd reason have the uh, most rubber band AI. Like you can go slow and they'll go slow at that point too. Um, I really, really wish they didn't have that though because it. it it doesn't really feel like a race, it feels kind of almost up to luck sometimes. It's like you can come here perfectly and like have worse results than having just like a lucky round that went terribly. Oh, what the fuck? Really? Really? Okay, we're just going to stop really quick and do one of these. I was hoping it would let me build up the kind of uh, taller roll, because I always feel like you roll a little bit quicker that way. Come on, come on. Yeah, there is no fucking way, man. I fucking hate the Goron races so much. I'm going to maintain that. Like, I feel like all of the races in this game just suck balls. Then, like, the Goron race is always, like, they make feel, Dar like, Darmani just feel like he's overhyped. Because he's supposed to be this great Goron hero, and he always, like, fucking struggles in this. Yeah, no, we're doomed. There's no way. Yeah, once you fall off, you're just done. Like, they'll even say... Hey, there's no way you're gonna win. Like, are you, are you, you just want to call it? Um, here we go. I'm gonna do this once more. Ah, oh, man, I 
don't know why it stops your uh, spikes like that sometimes. I mean, it feels random. Sometimes you can bump into like 20 things and it's all good, but sometimes you just bump into like a uh, racer and then you know the wall or something and it'll just stop you. Go make this jump. <gasps> Ooh. Come on. Okay, can I catch up? Why the fuck can't I win? Like, why can't... Like, why am I so slow? Why am I so fucking slow? <laughs> yeah, let's try again. God damn, man. I don't know why. The, the first race that I did that actually won was, like, probably super shitty. Okay, can I... I just want to see if I can get, like, a good roll, too. Yeah, I'm not getting, like, the roll that I want. I don't know if that's, like, a Switch thing, um, because I'm using a Switch controller. Uh, but I know for the, um, regular Nintendo 64 controller, it's, uh, pretty easy to actually line yourself up in such a way. Oh, well, that was cheap. Like this, where you... Oh, fuck, come on. But yeah, like when you're that thinner plate like that, it just usually better. Like usually you get a better roll out of it. <laughs> Goron races your bullshit, guys. This is probably one of my least favorite like mini games in this whole thing. Really, really, really. Oh man, this gonna, this gonna make you salty as hell. Salty as fuck. Yeah, I have no clue um, how I won that first one, honestly. Like, because apparently it's impossible to win these. And I know you can win them more than once, it just uh, apparently they're impossible. Like, why the fuck is it impossible now? Come on, come on. I'm gonna give it one more attempt. The amount of gold that you get for, um, for gold dust is, or not the amount of gold, but the amount of rupees you get for gold dust isn't worth the frustration here. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to get for like, uh, when I end off this set of three days. But, I'm starting to think it was a bad decision. So yeah, why why do they just move so much faster than I do? Um. <laughs> I don't know, these, these races are literally rigged against you for the most part. Because they don't have to get magic jars, but they will definitely run into them all the time. Whereas you do have to get magic jars, and if you don't get them, um, usually you'll run out of magic at some point during the race. Uh, okay. Looks like I might be able to do this one, maybe. Maybe. Sweet. I think that's yes. Ho ho ho, he came close. He was trying to beat me there. Ugh, okay, okay. That was all I wanted there. So, got some more gold dust. Uh, with that, um, I'm going to pause really quick, and I'm going to take a really quick break because I gotta let my roommate's cat out from her uh, room, and then I think I'm going to grab like uh, maybe a snack or uh, maybe take just a really quick breather. But I mean, grab myself a uh, ciggy or something. So I'm gonna put it on the intermission screen. I'll be back probably like five-ish, maybe eight-ish minutes. Like, it should be pretty quick. I just gotta, gotta do a couple or a few things while I'm done. Or, 
on break. So I'll be right back. Put okay, guys, I'm back. So I was going to grab myself a cup of tea, but uh, yeah, when I put the water into the teacup, it actually ended up just cracking on me. So I had to clean that up. It became quite the mess, and I was just like, "Okay, we're just going to uh, we're going to get back to stream." Uh, let's see here, though. Let's go here, and we're just going to warp over to the clock town. Ah, uh, yeah, we got to do the honey and darling stuff for today. <sighs> but yeah, I spent some time like uh, I was looking for my peppermint oil. Because, like, uh, my roommate had it last. Um, he was adding some pepper and oil to some tea. So I was like, okay, it should be just in his room. And I didn't see it anywhere in his room. And then, uh, after that, I was like, I'll just make myself some regular tea then, since I was going to have some peppermint with my water. And yeah, then my teacup broke, and it's like, well, fuck. <laughs> I guess, uh,. I guess uh, today is just going to be one of those days, you know? Now let me get my daily supplements in really quick. I'm also going to add a uh, caffeine tablet. Or not tablet, but a little caffeine pill here while I'm at it. So give me just a second here. And uh, I do have my cat here after some attention. Okay. <sighs> I did grab my uh, spearmint oil instead to add to my water for uh, the next batch of minty water I make. As I said, uh, I always kind of like it because when I'm streaming for a long period of time, I feel like the uh, cooling effect of mint oil really, really just kind of helps with making sure I my ho voice doesn't get too hoarse or anything. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've already read this before. I'll I'll start reading their stuff out on the uh, third day. Since that's the only day I haven't done this because I was dumb and forgot last time. There we go. Yeah, this one, this one's definitely not near as bad as uh, the bomb chew bowling one. This one, your greatest risk is just falling off the platform, but as long as you're, like, not wandering too far back, you should be fine. And then as long as it hits the basket, basically, it's just going to go in. Yeah, see how much quicker I was able to clear that than the uh, bomb chew one? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. Get 50 rupees, doesn't really do much for me. Uh, let's go out and then... Yeah, I think I'll just warp to Great Bay now. And while I'm here at the, well I shouldn't say here yet since I'm not there, but while I'm at the uh, Owl Statue area here in Great Bay, I'm actually going to shoot Tingle down so I can buy a couple of maps from him. I is a little bit higher up than normal, but luckily, luckily as long as you have the bow you can reach him. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy. Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I'm the same as you, sir, a forest fairy. Alas, though I am already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. 
My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tangle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky. Do you have a fairy? I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Uh, will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Uh, we will buy Great Bay, and we'll also, I guess, buy the Stone Tower one while we're at it. So you got the map of Great Bay, and now you can find your way around the seashore. The red arrow on the map uh, shows you where you entered, and the yellow arrow shows your current location. Well, call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu, Limpa. These are the magic words Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Nope, already have stolen them. They're mine now. Uh, sir. Hello, Mr. Fairy. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? And then Stone Tower. Yippee! You got a map of Stone Tower. Now you can find your way around the canyon. Uh, that's the same as we've already read. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu, Limpa! Stole his words again. See, there's not much you can do about that. Uh, let's go like this. And then, um, we're gonna go this way. It's basically over this way is the area we need to go to. Okay. I hit them with the electric electro shield. Okay, that makes us some of our money back. I think for the uh, pirates area, we can't go through the main gate. But there is a little thing you can break away somewhere. I just can't remember quite where it is. It might be off to the side a little bit. We'll see. Okay, that yeah, was uh, a little bit too far over, apparently. Oh, wait, there it is. Cool. Yeah, so uh, we just break one of these. It should be... not that one. It'll be this one, I think. So now we're in the Pirate's Fortress. Oh, actually, I'm dumb. Right, we're going to uh, warp out of here real quick. There is one thing I want before we do this that'll make life considerably easier. Uh, so we are going to go to Southern Swamp. I can't remember if the water is poisonous quite this way, or if you have to go a little bit further for the water to be poisonous. Yeah, this is this is regular water. I think past the first Octorok is where it's poisoned. Okay, I guess the potion hag's not in. This is probably because I haven't saved her sister yet. Uh, I don't know, let me just make sure. Yep, not in. Gone out back to the woods on Lil' Aaron, Kotake, the manager. Well, that's a pain. Um, let's see here. Follow me. Oh, 
Uh, let's switch to the uh, Deku scrub form. It's gonna be a little bit quicker. This way. And I think from here he goes like this way. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, oh, man. They don't let you get like right up on the edge. So uh, let's follow the monkey the whole way. I think we'll have to do that to uh, um, basically complete this. Just busy mind my own business. Pick mushrooms and bam, I got hit from behind. A oh, pesky skull kid, did you think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Ow, ow, to think he's even that powerful, and now I can't even move. You, do you have anything that gives you energy? I do not. Um, we're going to see if we can come back through here. And, uh, nope, okay. We're going to go talk to uh, Kotake then. Because she was um, off this way. I think she was in this third one, this third area. Okay, can I not get the potion? Oh, actually, you know what? She's not the only one that sells red potions. And yeah, ah, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, guys. I am incredibly dumb. You can actually get red potion in clock down. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> I and you know what? I don't even need to heal her up for um, what I was going to do then, because honestly, all I need is red potion. So. Let me empty out one of my bottles real quick, because I don't think the uh, curiosity shop's open right now. Um, I will check, but I think it's only open at night, basically. Which is where I would need to go uh, to offload the gold dust that I have. Open at 10 p.m., okay. That's what I thought. Okay, let's speak to him one more time. Hi. Welcome, what are you looking for? Okay. Uh, let's buy a red potion. Ah, oh, sweet, it's only 30 rupees. That's not bad at all. Hey, thanks again. Um, nothing else I need here. We'll just take off. And... Okay, let's use the Goron mask for now. Basically, I just need to get over towards the Akana uh, Stonehead area. And then uh, I'll summon up um, Epona. Because I don't have the Owl statue unlocked for that area. Uh, you can't unlock that until you get some items from Great Bay anyway. So. Uh, the item I'm going to get from here will make it much easier. Actually, let's get over here. And now we'll uh, get a Pona.
Yeah, he, he thought he had me there, but he really didn't. I love how, like, Epona stopped, like, way before she got to the obstacle, and I was just trying to turn instead. I was, I was about to go to the graveyard, but we'll come back to the graveyard at night. Now, what we do want to do, though, is we'll equip the Eye of Truth, or Lens of Truth, there we go. And then we'll speak to him. Ah, don't tell me, that's... I'm shocked. Oh, wait, we already read all this. So, let's just give him the red potion here. Ah, that... is that it? I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here, in gratitude. You got the stone mask, where it would see to become as plain as a stone. Now, let me practice standing out. Yelp the inconspicuous soldier. This was added to your notebook. And yeah, if you can see, now we don't need the Lens of Truth. He's just, uh, he's ever-present now. Okay, let's, um, warp to Great Bay now. We'll go do the thing that we need to do, which will be considerably easier now that we have the, um, Stone Mask. Let's re-equip the uh, Zora's mask, <clears throat> and then we'll put the uh, stone mask on the bottom slot for now, because we will actually need the stone mask. I think these things give like 15 to 20 rupees, so might as well collect uh, some rupees while we're here. over here. This will take us back to the Pirate's Fort. I think being over here is far enough away from their patrols that they don't notice you. And then we're just going to uh, go collect these chests that are here at the bottom. At least I think they're here at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Got a red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Okay, that's not quite what I want to do. I guess let's line ourselves up better. Open that. And another 20 rupees. Um, yeah, let's not collect the last chest because I'm pretty sure it's just going to be more rupees. So, we'll ignore the other chest for now. Um, I'm trying to think here. We're 
We're gonna wait for these boats to pass though, because I think you have to, or they'll bust ya. I think as long as you're below the uh, water level, I don't think they'll notice you. be for if you have the uh, hook shot. We don't quite have that yet. I'm pretty sure for that we need to get into the space. I could be wrong though. Um. Oh yeah, curl pound. Boom. So we'll take that off. Put the Zora's mask back on. Uh, Zora's mask, I believe, is the only mask that you can equip while you're in water. Generally, you can't use any items when you're in the water. Uh, but that one is a special exception since, you know, obviously it's used for being in the water. Another area here. Let's let's see what's behind that door. Well, yeah, I guess it's good that I came this way because uh, yeah, I guess we need to uh, come this way anyway. Yeah, this is probably more rupees, but since we're not really going to revisit this area uh, during the three-day cycle, that's well open. I guess I could have done that in the first area, too. Okay, let's see here. This isn't important, I'm just gonna shove this out. Conceal the way I came in, you know? We'll never know. It's a stealth mission now. Okay, nothing over there. Ah, uh, we're just going to get above these mines. Okay and then drop right into them because that's obviously what the best solution is. Now you do want to avoid getting blown by those things because it'll actually just like basically kick you out to where the waste pipe was. I think that's why it has the kind of wastewater look to it. Yeah, let's just let's soak up all of these. Um, very good for our health. Yeah, we'll uh, come over here, open this up, and get 20 more rupees that don't matter. <laughs> get that rupee, that doesn't matter. Um, here. We'll uh, take out this first barrel. Maybe. What the hell? Okay, come on. Come on. Be, be a little bit kinder, game. Actually, since there's uh, several barrels we'll need to take out, let's uh, equip the Goron Mask. With the Goron Mask, you can just punch through these. 
like their paper. So that's what we're going to do really quick. Not sure if this is the one for there. Uh, looks like it is. So. Um, I do think it is time to, so I figured we might as well make it as quick as possible. <clears throat> um, I think the Zora mask will be the one to equip for this, because I do think we have to go into the water after we hit this. I think this basically just unlocks like the next little uh, gate or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's take a look in here. I can't remember what's over this way. I guess it's just showing us uh, a little bit further ahead. So this one, we just want to stay above the water there. Now let's go over here. It also could have been done with bombs. Um, let's take a look up here. I guess we could have just uh, followed that all the way up. Uh, let's equip this though. Spyglass or something. Let's uh, unequip this. We'll take a look through here. And so yeah, we can kind of look at what the setup of this area is using this. Um, I believe that the main area that we want to get to is right through here. Um. Luckily, though, you can see there's a lot of guards. With the guards, since we'll have the stone mask, they won't even pay us any mind. The only people that will is if you guys ever played Ocarina of Time, just like the area in that that had um, guards and whatnot, uh, like Gerudo guards. Uh, basically, all you had to do is um, worry about the ones that would attack you, which there will be ones that will attack you here. Again, we don't have to worry about those quite yet, though. <clears throat> Anything over here? No. They're just a hookshot area. So this area, if you don't have the stone mask, uh, one thing you can do that makes it a lot easier is you can just snipe them with your bow, it'll stun them. But if you have the stone mask, just make sure it's equipped, <coughs> and then you can just go like this. Uh, let's see. I just want to take a look around. Okay. Yeah, so this would be the first area to go to then. Uh, I think this is probably where we'll pick up the uh, hookshot.
Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't make you immune to all of them spotting you. So. We'll have to snipe a couple of those guys. <clears throat> Luckily, they don't toss you out, like, uh, completely. They don't toss you into the water. Because if they toss you into the water, it'd be much more of a pain to recover from. I feel like there's... Oh yeah, you're supposed to get over there. Let me see how to get over there, actually. I forget. Yeah, maybe, maybe, I'm starting to think. Maybe you are supposed to have a hook shot before you get here. So we're going to, uh, we're going to leave, and then we'll get the hook shot. Yeah, what are you doing in a place like this? This is the Ominous Pirate's Fortress. I don't think you should get close, uh, but I'm okay. Well, actually, the pirates of this fortress are all women, and better yet, I hear they're all gorgeous. Uh, so I thought maybe I should check them out. What? Don't look at me like that. <clears throat> okay, let me, let me think. Actually... Maybe what I'm supposed to do, if I'm remembering correctly, I think what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to get a photograph of one and give it to a fisherman out this way. Okay, so let's go like this and then like this. Okay, and then we'll snap a quick photo. There we go, keep the picture, get thrown out. Unless I somehow missed the hookshot inside, but I don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't think I missed any, any chests in there. I guess the main thing of taking the full-on route is just getting the, um... Uh... uh thing. Um, the heart container. There we go. But yeah, no, I think, actually, I think... I might get the hook shot from um, the guy that has a cabin next to the sea here. Let's see though. I've been catching fish in these seas for 30 years. When it comes to catching fish, I'm even better than the Zoras. That's what I'd like to say, anyway. Lately, the seawater has gotten really warm. It hasn't helped my fishing at all. And what's worse, this water has gotten murky, so when I ship out, I always uh, lose my way and somehow end back at shore. We fishermen, and even the fish, are in real predicament. 
Uh, let's take a look at this. Check. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? But you know, those female pirates are so frightening they could scare a crying baby in the silence. See, it was long ago I used to use the thing called a hookshot to catch fish off the coast. I was attacked by these pirates and they took it with them. They say it's a legendary treasure. I just happened to swipe it from the bottom of the sea, so I hold no grudge against them. It may be a treasure resting somewhere in the pirate's fortress at the edge of this coast. Okay, fuck. So, it is in their fortress. I just missed it somewhere. Okay, let's go back to their fortress. I was like, I'm pretty sure from memory that the hookshot was in the pirate's fortress, but... I, I was really questioning myself there when I didn't see it. We'll go one more time. Because, yeah, you are supposed to be able to um, basically access that side room that uh, we saw. And then you shoot down like a bee's nest and it'll clear out the main room that has the hook shot. Which is what I thought, but I couldn't see how to get over to that room, so... Uh, I probably just wasn't paying close enough attention. So we'll just go back through here real quick. Um, shouldn't be too hard. And we'll just pay a little bit closer attention, make sure I didn't miss a door or something. Which, again, I probably did. Um, I don't know if these reset. I don't think they did because I think that was in the middle before. So, yeah, should be good. Yes, I am. Cool. The sea mines reset though. Okay, let's dive below that. <laughs> I was about to have a bad time there. I was about to get hit by the same sea mine or get swept outside. see now that we're back in this area that I've been to before the heart container is now just like a uh, well the heart piece is now just a um, heart refill piece or whatever there we go am I just hitting like another C mine or two on my way we'll see wouldn't surprise me. We're gonna get it this way because I think if you follow the like, if you ride all the way to the top, it definitely puts you pretty close to hitting those. I can't remember if it makes you hit those or not, though. Oh, it looks like that's still activated. Well, I feel dumb now. Uh, since we don't really need the pictograph anymore, we'll just put that away. And, yeah. Uh, we'll replace it with the bow. I think this is probably the optimal setup right now for this area. Oh, there's a ladder up to the top. I forgot about that. So yeah, we just gotta climb this then. And then, yeah, this takes us where we need to be. I had to clear out that main area with the hookshot.
I've been waiting for you. <clears throat> and you find the rest of the eggs? Uh, no, but that's because... Well, because... What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost the treasure they stole, we'll become the laughing stock. Yes, but Avail, the sea is strangely murky where we were attacked by the sea snakes. Silence. That's why the Zoras can't send for any help. Now that the eggs are gone, the Zoras should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zoras will get to them before we do. There are four eggs here now. Hurry, go find the other three eggs before the sea snakes eat them. Understood. Wait. The Zora eggs are the only clue we have about the dragon cloud floating over the bay. If what that strange masked one says is true, and if we can get our hands on the treasure that lies sleeping in the temple in that dragon cloud, then we can spend the rest of our lives living the good life. So get it. Uh, move on. Go find them now. Understood. Okay, let's uh, let's shoot down this uh thing here. Okay, um, I think this is just another area to look down. No. Just some pots. Pots with arrows. That's actually pretty uh, convenient. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, let's go out here, though. And let's go take a gander at what's inside. Which, again, should just be the hookshot. Uh, unfortunately, because I don't have as many bottles as I could have, I will have to make, like, a couple of stops here at the, um, well, I guess right here, and then at the place where you take the eggs. You found the hookshot. Use it to grapple items so you can reel them in or pull yourself over to them. Press C to arm it, then use control stick to aim. Release C to shoot. Okay, we're just going to equip that for now. Because I think we don't need any more eggs, basically. Actually, let's go like this. We're going to aim for the edge here so we fall off to the side. Okay, well, still didn't work the way I was hoping it would have. And, oh, sweet, we do have at least one empty bottle. Um, there we go. Yeah, the pain ass part is you can definitely have uh, five eggs, or not five eggs, but uh, four bottles for this area. I have three bottles, but obviously I kind of, um, kind of filled one up with gold dust already, so. Anyway, either way, we'd have to make two stops. I guess maybe not, because there is a side quest that it either gives you either gives you two bottles or a bottle and a um, heart contain or heart piece. So I can't remember which. See what I need? I need this long shot. You know, that was uh, obviously objectively better than the hook shot. Now let's open up the chest here. That's going to do nothing for me. Okay, got ourselves um, another 20 rupees. Wait, can I jump onto this chest? Okay. I think what we'll do is, it's not going to save me any time, I just want to see if I can do it. 
Okay, now nah, it doesn't let me get over the uh, thing that way. I was just hoping it would. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do in the slightest. Let's let's try that again. I'm just gonna hit the base of this actually, or maybe not. Okay. Uh, there's another useless chest over there, but we're just gonna go this way since this should be the way that um maybe has some more stuff for us to collect. Maybe some more eggs. <laughs> I always love the stone mask, like, that just makes this area, like, so much easier. Okay, we are going to equip the Zora mask this time, because I don't have a sword. Halt. <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. I'm going to love doing this to you. Okay, let's see here. Wait, I know exactly what I need. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't use uh, Decking Nuts as a uh, Zora. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hit her with uh, one of those, and then, oh, dad. There we go. Let's see, let's see if we can do like a couple more of those. Okay. You can actually start the attack without having your two uh, Zora rings uh, attached. Uh, I don't think it ends here. Or, don't think it ends here. <sighs> yeah, if I had uh, Deku Nuts to hit them with, that actually makes it a lot easier too. But I sadly did not have any Deku Nuts to hit them with. See, at least this one has, like, a more considerate board that when you hit the very side, it won't drop you right into the drink with the, uh, the angry, uh, angry oyster. There we go. Okay, we're going to get rid of this fairy here. And then because I didn't really prep for this area the way I probably should have, uh, we are going to make a trip to where we can deposit the eggs. Um, let's go like this and equip the stone mask just to be safe. I mean, literally, I just want thrown out anyway, but... Why do might as well see what I can do. Okay. Yeah, we'll just collect that chest real quick. And then they'll throw us out, and we're just gonna get caught by the patrol boats now. Uh, the cool thing is is now when we come back in, um we won't have to go by the, or we won't have to go through the hidden passageway or whatever you want to call it. So, make it a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah, we'll just jump out in front of them.
And... Yep. No. Just a little bit too late on that. I mean, this isn't the Japanese version of this. If this was the Japanese version, you literally had to uh, jump up on there. At least the first time. But with being just the uh, regular you know, NTSC version, you don't have to do that, so it's not too bad. Okay, just crawl up on here, and we'll go drop these down really quick. <laughs> I didn't know the positioning had to be that strict. <laughs> Uh, let's drop another one here. I think uh, since it's still nighttime, what I'll do... I'm going to warp back to Clock Town real quick. Deposit all of my rupees I currently have. Sell my gold dust. Deposit all the rupees I'll get from that. And then... Uh, I might go collect some more rupees out in the field. I'll make sure this time not to get um, attacked, or, well, I shouldn't even say attacked, but um, I will, I'll make sure not to get owned by that bird that's out there. What's this? You need something? Uh, deposit rupees. Excuse me, but let me take a look at you. Ah, yes, King Crab Zero. I remember you're the little guy who deposited 568 rupees. Well, are you going to make a deposit? All right. So, how much? How much? Really? Are you really depositing 200 rupees? What? You're really going to give me that much? You're one rich little guy. All right, little guy, now I've got a total of 768 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Okay, um, curiosity shop. Yeah, let's be smart about this. We're just going to equip this like this. Come in. Tonight, I got nothing to sell. I kid you not. Can I buy something? I'll pay you good for it. Show it to me with C. For that, I'll give you 200 rupees. Now, if you actually have the Giant's Wallet, I believe it'll give you 500 rupees. You got a huge rupee. Just one is worth 200 rupees. That's a big deal. I can buy something? No. Thanks. Come in again. Uh, let's get my equipment set up for fighting that uh, bird. Okay, I'm going to warp to Milk Road just to make my life a little bit easier. It'll put me in the right place to actually uh, fight him. And when I get there, I'm just going to pause really quick. go. I'm going to get myself some more mint water going. Um, not that one. I wanted to switch out to spearmint. I was going to do peppermint, but I wasn't able to find that. I might have to look for it later. Or uh, te text my roommate about it. Part of me wonders if he, like, Take it with him uh, when he went out of state because he's going to be, well, not out of state. Actually, I guess out of state. Like uh, Oregon right now. Which isn't much of an accomplishment from where I live, or I guess where we live, uh, because we live basically right next to the border with Oregon. But he's. A little bit deeper in Oregon. He, he's actually almost uh, in Washington. Like, that's how close he is. Uh, 
to being on the border of Washington, Oregon. Like, I think he's probably like 30 miles away from Washington. But, yeah, he's going to be gone for like, uh, he might be back today, he might be back tomorrow. He actually left yesterday, but it was like only, I think, a few hour trip where he needed to go. So, yeah. If he took the peppermint oil with him, uh, I wouldn't be upset or anything. I'd just be like, oh, what the fuck, man. I was uh, I was looking forward to enjoying a little bit of that. Because peppermint oil is really nice and uh, refreshing, but a little bit, like, powerful. Kind of opens up your airways somewhat. You can feel it when you breathe. At least I feel like it opens up my airways. Helps me clear my throat, too. Maybe that's what it is. It's just that it clears my throat. It doesn't open up my airways, it just clears my throat. But if I can't find it, I might just use uh, the other bottle of peppermint oil we have. It's not quite as strong as the stuff I have. But it would work just the same. I mean, i just put like a whole drop or two. Or maybe a quick... Uh... Dab. Quick dab. I don't know what to call it. A dash. There we go. A quick dash. Yeah, pepper or spearmint oil doesn't seem to deposit quite as easily as the um, other mint oils do. Okay, there we go. I just got to pour some water into this. Okay, there we go. And since it's not water soluble, I'm just going to get well incorporated and call it good. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Very minty. Um, ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I was going to do another thing here, and I forgot. And it's too late to do it. Yep, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I had, like, a plan for, like, all the things I was going to do, and I just I keep forgetting which ones to do when. Okay, let's go back and collect some, uh, I guess hopefully we can collect some, um, magic jars or something. Okay, that one's always a fairy. Okay, that one was a magic jar. God, I really wanted that mask too, because that mask makes life a much easier. <sighs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. That means I do have to do the um, defense of Romani Ranch again as well. <laughs> Well, I guess it is what it is. Um, won't feel too bad about it. Ah, 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? I forgot to deposit my rupees. I'm still gonna take this thing down. It's a matter of principle. I can let this sword stealing bird survive. Yeah, that felt <laughs> like a waste. Okay, let's let's go deposit the 200 rupees I already have. Side of town. Oh, everything's everything's falling apart, guess. Like, uh, it's all scuffed now. It's all scuffed. Let's try this again. I always love that the uh, banker just, you know, they fight. They have that special stamp that apparently can even last through time travel. So it's quite a useful, uh, quite a useful stamp. Now let's go fight that bird now. Now we're going to go this way. I don't even want to risk that bird stealing anything. Fuck that bird. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that bird is if it does hit you and you have something that it can steal, it will steal it. Plus it takes like a million hits to kill. Um, at least using fire rares, I think it takes like five or six. And then, like, uh, Ice Arrows, I think it probably takes, like, uh, one or two less. And then, uh, I think it takes, like, three or four Light Arrows, which are, like, super duper strong. Come on. Come back around. Okay. Uh, we're going to warp back to the Great Bay area. I'm actually not going to go um, do the Zora part of this. Or I guess not the Zora, but the uh, pirate part of this quite yet. As basically, I do want to kind of do like a little side mini game really quick. And then after we do that side mini game, I guess we'll warp back the clock down to do um, the Honey and Darling third day stuff so we can get the um, reward for it. I can't actually remember what the uh, third day stuff is for their mini games. I do find it funny that these trees have Deku Nuts instead of, like, Coconuts. Because it's like, wouldn't Deku Nuts usually just come from, uh... Yeah, it would be actual Deku flowers and plants and whatnot. Hey, Macau. You want to do that thing you used to always do? Hey, aren't you Macau? Were you able to get an empty bottle from the beavers on top of the waterfall? Those guys are quick, so it's pretty tough, isn't it? Yeah, they're, uh, they're just letting you know about what I'm actually about to go do. Now, let's see here. Okay, let's, uh, 
I'm bringing it center. Okay, let's go a little bit forward. There we go, perfect. Way to go, Macau. You've got a big smirk on your face. Well, uh, here's a hundred rupees. Ah, oh, fucked. Except jar replacement costs ten rupees, so I'll have to deduct that. Now uh, you get ninety rupees. Take the challenge again sometime. Okay. <laughs> God damn. Uh, yeah, I need I need the uh, giant's wallet. I just don't have enough space. I don't think I'm going to get to Great Bay Temple in the three-day cycle, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, what I think I will get done in this three-day cycle is getting the extra jar from the beavers, getting the uh, mini game for the um, honey and darling, and then yeah, I guess we'll see what all we can do. Okay, can I get that from here? Actually, let's go back to here, maybe. Might be able to hit that chest from down here, actually. Twenty rupees that you honestly don't... Aw, oh, you motherfuckers. I, I bet you guys it's going to be 20 rupees, which I seriously don't even need. Yeah, we'll just avoid that treasure chest, actually. It's going to bog me down. Wait, what? Come on. <laughs> That's that one was cheap. Uh twenty rupees you don't need. Yep, I was right. Okay, we're just gonna get ourselves up to the top of the waterfall though. And then basically we'll have to run a couple of races against the beavers up here. Um, first race gives you a bottle, second race I think gives you a heart container. I could be wrong though. It might be two bottles. Okay, he noticed me, so we're just gonna go in here and talk to him. <clears throat> you again? You can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. Coo coo coo. Okay, I'll give you one, but only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So, do you want to try? Sure. There's a total of 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order for it to count. Swim through the ring that's flashing. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. Okay. This is always much easier said than done to you. Uh, the rings are solid, so you can actually hit them. Like, that'll stop you, and I think if you get stopped, it basically just ruins the whole run. The whole race. Well, not even a race, but the whole, uh, obstacle course. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's see if we can make up for this. Come yeah, on. 
my god, oh my god, here we go, here we go. And maybe it won't ruin the whole thing. Oh my god. But this will. Fuck. Fuck. Can you drop? God, man, fuck. Yeah, one thing I don't like in this is the uh, inverted up-down axis, or the inverted y-axis, I guess it would be. I think that's what they consider that. <coughs> and yeah, like, that, that always uh, gets me for some of the aiming, and I guess also for the swimming here. Okay, we might be able to do this, but... Oh my god, that was close, that was close, that was real close. Whew. Ah, that was perfect. That's not good. Did you call me little brother? I called you big brother. Actually, what, an empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. I can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once more against me. So will you try? Sure. The rules are the same, but this time there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. Oh man. It's gonna be rough. It'll be rough. Okay, hopefully this time we don't uh, <clears throat> hit things. Okay, good start, good start. Already hitting things. At least they still give us... Uh, the whole two minutes. Actually, I think you might have to race them a third time for a heart piece, maybe? I could be wrong. Oh, this is going better on this part, at least. just going to uh, regular swim through those two. They weren't looking so good. I didn't like my prospects with them. Okay, um, we'll just do that. I think we still got this. Like, we're making better time than we were last time, so. We did hit a few things on the way, but it's n honestly not the worst. Yeah, we got this. Like, I would have to really fuck up at this point. <clears throat> he did a little brother. Yeah, he did a big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. This is a mess, big brother. You got an empty bottle. Save items in it and use them with C. We underestimated you. Um, let's see. Let's go over and talk to them. Because I think we can race them once more. And I think if we race them once more again, I think it's a heart piece. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. Oh, we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any, big brother. If you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? I'll race. First, you have to start with my little brother. This time, the limit is a minute 50. Don't fall behind. Okay, this will be a bit harder, because I did kind of uh, finish with only, like... A few seconds the first time, though the much the second run, um, 
I think I was able to finish with probably about 10 seconds. So it'll be really close on the 25 ring one now. I'm just hoping not to hit any of these because that just wrecks your whole day. going way too well. That means the second one's going to go real bad. Real, real bad. too well. I didn't get stuck up on anything. He did it again, little brother. He did it again, big brother. That's shameful, little brother. Now race me. What will you do? I'll race. The time limit is the same as it was for about 25 rings this time. So, same as last time, 10 seconds less. Okay, that approach was not as good as it could have been, but still managed it. Yeah, the first ring there, I, yeah, I don't think you have that first ring uh, with the little brother. You have to dive a bit deeper with the big brother. But things are still going well, so that's cool. Oh fuck. Oh, really, really, that was stupid. Instead of swimming, it, like, started surfacing me instead. Why does it keep doing that? Fuck. That's annoying. Okay, let's hope that I didn't lose too much time here. I think, basically, the rest of this will have to go perfectly to make up for that. Okay, and it's not going to go perfectly, apparently. Okay, oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. <coughs> um, I guess I might be able to make it, but yeah, I, I literally can't make mistakes now. Mistake equals, uh, Duns Gonzo. Ah, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, can't make it. I'm, I'm just two away. Okay, time's up. Want to try again? Sure. Fuck. Yeah, like, if the game didn't make me, like, surface and then swim when it was doing that, I would have probably been able to pull that back, but yeah, for two rings there, it um, it was just making me surface before it start the swim cycle, which I don't know why I was doing that. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Like the time, like when that normally happens, it usually means that like um, you've let go of the button, like the A button. <clears throat> but, like, the thing is, I hadn't let go of A button, so I don't know why it was doing that. Uh, I mean, you do surface a little bit when you start swimming, but it's just, like, a little bit. That was a lot of bit, you know? Okay, I may have hit some rings this time, but, uh... This is going considerably better than last time, so I actually don't care. Oh, I'm getting stalked by a little gray kitty cat. 
<clears throat> Misty. Misty. Is that necessary, kitty kit? Okay, now she's a desk cat. I guess I gotta look at my other screen. He's a formidable opponent, little brother. You're all just talk, eh, big brother? If we give that to him, I wonder if he'll leave us alone, little brother. Yeah, I want to quit, big brother. Yeah, we get a heart piece now. Yeah, let me give my cat some pets really quick while she's on my desk. Nishti, you being a good kitty cat? Hey there, Neo Copper, how's it going? Hopefully, uh, hopefully things are going well for you. Uh, looks like we just got a full heart container, so cool. Please, let it be over. Oh, that's good to hear that's going pretty good. Yeah, things are, uh, things are going pretty good for the stream so far, you know. Only, only fucking up slightly on this game. A game that I've played several times and feel like I shouldn't be fucking up on, but <laughs> managing to fuck up on still. Oh man, like I was going to, uh, I was going to start like kind of a side quest thing for this game that uh, is something you have to basically do across a couple of days, which I did the first part, and I completely forgot about the second part until it was, like, way too late. I was like, ah, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, you got anything going on today, or just, uh, got a weekend to enjoy? And is the weekend, I think. Pretty sure it's Saturday right now, actually. I don't know, my concept of time sometimes is uh, a little bit weird. Especially if my sleep schedule's like super off or something, like usually I'll be kind of uh, kind of uh, out of the loop on like what time or uh, whatever it is or what day, I guess. Okay, uh, I guess there's nothing over here. So let's warp back to town really quick. Yeast. Kitty cat. <clears throat> Give you some chin scritch scritches. There we go, chin scritches for the kitty cat. Okay. If you don't move, Misty, I can actually see most of the screen. Now let's go the right way this time. Yeah, no, it should be should be Saturday. It just uh, I, I some like I, I was totally forgetting what day of the week it is. But yeah, it should be Saturday. Um, because yeah, normally I might have a jam session today, but uh, my roommate that I jam with is out of town, and like he'd already texted the other person we jam with, and they weren't going to be showing up either, so. Definitely no jam sesh, so but that means it would have been a Saturday today. Or I guess is a Saturday today. Would have been a Saturday today. <laughs> like the world's gonna end or something. It uh, looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if he's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got a perfect score two days in a row? You wanna play again? Today is target shooting day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> one game is 10 rupees. Oh, sweet target shooting day. I bet you this one's not going to be too bad since uh, I can use the bow. Ah, oh, fuck. There's a lot of targets, though. Can I shoot these bastards? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, my God. Okay. This is much worse than I was expecting it to be. Especially since, like, I'm not 
able to use my main screen because my cat's in the way of it. I'm like stuck with my small uh, preview from my uh, from OBS. Oh my god. Misty, misty. There we go. Uh, let me move back to the actual screen now. I'm pretty sure I saw an arrow sticking out of that target. Oh my god, oh my god, there we go. <clears throat> I'm glad that glad we got that. Uh, honey, you got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give, honey. You got a piece of heart. You got two pieces. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? I'm going to go with they're probably not truly happy. I mean, they're a little bit obsessive uh, towards each other. Yeah, okay. Now that we got that out of the way, though, we're going to go back to Great Bay. Uh, with that, I think there's another mini game we can do in Great Bay. Trying to remember, I think it's over. Eh, not that way. Oh yeah, there's some islands over this way. Yeah, let's go see if we can do that mini game because I think it's only available on the third day, or maybe it's only available during the day. But you have to have a hookshot. Okay, maybe not, because I think there's supposed to be, like, a boat or something. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think you have to uh, clear the water temple first. Okay. Well, we're nowhere to clearing the water temple, so let's just go finish off the pirates then. Oh, come on. I was off to the side, minding my own business. Uh, that was a little bit rough. <laughs> I wish that the uh, patrol here wasn't like already right up in your business. Like, if it would just start so you had, like, the uh, clearing first. But hey, it doesn't quite matter. We'll just go over to this other side here. And we'll hookshot across. I will have to wait for the patrol boats to move. <clears throat> That's while I'm waiting for that, I'll take a drink of water here. Ah, no. What am I doing? No, no, no. That's not what I wanted. <clears throat> I accidentally hit my right control stick, which in this game, uh, since I'm playing on the Switch, the control stick, uh, the right one, is actually, it functions as the C buttons as well. Uh, like, there's actually two ways to do the C buttons um, with the Switch. You can either... Uh, hold down a button. That's not what I wanted. Gingy! Papa? Pilote robot! No! Cazzo! Oh, that took me it took me by surprise there. <laughs> I do love that sound alert though. Definitely one of my faves. But yeah, there's like you can hold down I think the right 
trigger. Yeah, it'd be the right trigger. And then basically that turns all of your uh, <coughs> uh, all of your A X Y B buttons to the C buttons, which is why I prefer because the um, control stick one it's easy to mess up the input with. But yeah, the, on the flip side of that, the other problem is it's still easy to kind of uh, mess up and hit the wrong thing if you're not paying attention because you can still accidentally bump the control stick. It's pretty sensitive about uh, when it'll go off. <clears throat> well, let's take a look out here. Okay, so no real reason to come out here, it looks like. I guess unless you're looking to just maybe get kicked out. I don't know. Uh, we've already been in that one. I don't know how you get over there. Actually, I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, let's scoot up a little bit closer here. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, wait. I guess I have to hit the, uh... Button there. Okay, that didn't work the way I was hoping it would, though. Um, let me. I guess let me go back through here. Maybe I missed something when I went this way the first time. I just. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like something over here should lead out that door, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this fort's just kind of like backwards, and something else will take me through there. Oh, yeah, it was when I got through this area, I came out that door. That's what it was. I couldn't remember at first, actually, but now I remember. Oh, damn, I should have grabbed my sword, actually. I'll have to remember that. Because that, uh, that would make this area a lot easier, as if I had my sword as well. Sadly, I do not. That was an oversight on my part. See, I feel like in this game, uh, if you're really efficient with your time, you can definitely get a lot done. But on the flip side, like, it also requires you remembering a whole bunch of... <coughs> it requires you remembering a whole bunch of things, and yeah, I'm just uh, apparently forgetting all those things. I had something in my throat that I was starting to catch there. And my voice was going to uh, go away. I did not want it to go. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And let's change the bottom one here to that. I do have to fight this uh, guard here using the Zora's mask because I don't have a sword. Halt! <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. I'm going to love doing this to you. And yeah, she said the exact same thing as the last one. Emma. Hitting you with that kick. <laughs> A nice jump kick to end things. Ah, don't think it ends here. I do appreciate that they uh, throw a Deku nut to uh, stun you, blind you, whatever. 
Uh, let's take that off and put that on just to be safe. Ooh. Let's uh, go like that. Luckily, I know how to get through this situation. There we go. Um, 20 rupees. Sweet. Worthless. <laughs> Yeah, no, it threw me off when I was uh, watching some other people I like um, stream this because, like, every time they would um, get in the water with anything, they'd always take a lot of damage. And I'd always have to inform it's like, hey, uh, pro tip, if you use your shield while you're swimming, you'll get an electric shield, or if you're already on the ocean's bottom or whatever, if you shield and then hit B, it'll actually give you that electric shield so you can protect it from enemies and also not take damage. Yeah, apparently uh, a lot of people didn't seem to know that, which just threw me off because uh, it does say that on Mikao's grave, which, you know, you kind of basically unlock or whatever when you... Uh, convert Macau into a mask. <clears throat> okay, cannot reach that from here. Can I reach it from here, though? Question of the day. Yes, I can. Yes, I have to line up. <laughs> Oh yeah, this area, I also made this area much easier than it could be otherwise, because I do have the stone mask. Uh, stone mask just makes this go from, like, kind of a little bit harder area. I shouldn't even say harder. It makes it go from, like, a stealth area to a walk in the park. I wonder what's in this chest. Do I get, like, a map and stuff for this area? I honestly don't think so. Oh, a silver rupee. That was, uh, that was worthless. Oh, look at that. I didn't even have to, uh, stun them. As know that the ones in the throne room I had to stun, so... Okay. I'll take that off, put that on. That's as far as you go. How unfortunate. You won't be getting past here. <clears throat> ah, come on. There, there should at least be a little bit of recovery there when you take damage, right? Not bad, but don't think it ends here. I mean, that's what she says, but uh, I'm pretty sure you just made all of the Gerudo pirates look like fools. Contribute 750 uh, total to the Tokrev Takedown Challenge. Well, thank you there for the points contribution. I think we're getting uh, getting closer and closer, slowly but surely. I mean, I think there's still 18 days to get that uh, goal met, so I'm pretty sure we could probably meet it before 18 days is over. Cause yeah, I would definitely like to do that one. Um, I was actually messing around with my toke rev today. I was like, man, I hope, uh, hope that my stream, like, uh, or hope that I'm able to stream it. Oh, 17 days left. Well, to be fair, 
Uh, when I was looking at the goal earlier, it was 17 days, but that was actually uh, before I started streaming. Misty, are you trying to get on my lap again, kitty cat? Oh, Misty, Misty. The cat's gonna be a pain. <laughs> You're gonna bother me every hour while I do the stream, I bet. Like, probably even more than that. <laughs> um, let's see. We got the last Zora egg from this area. Oh, I remember what I needed the uh, picture of a Gerudo for. Okay, cool. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully get that goal met because honestly, I do kind of look forward to it. Okay, um, I'm just going to get caught here and tossed out. And then from there, I'm just going to get caught again and tossed out again. There we go. That's a twofer. Okay, I think I'll deposit these eggs, and then after I deposit these eggs, I should be able to um, get the last three before the time ends, which means I'll be able to get the song that unlocks the temple for the next set of three days. Wait, I love that. I'm going to go deposit these eggs, start heading towards... Uh, the next thing that I need to do for the other three eggs. <laughs> okay. Misty. Kitty cat. I know, Misty. I know. You just need so much attention. I'm going to play this one-handed for a moment. and It's not going to go super well. kitty cat and all that. Misty, you're sitting on my lap when there's like a nice desk that you could be laying on. Like with how my legs are angled, I don't see why she was trying to sit on my lap. I uh, currently have my legs kind of angled down, so it's not the best surface for trying to sit on or even lay on. Okay, and now I should be able to trade a pictograph of one of the Gerudo pirates uh, for the um, horse, seahorse, seahorse, seahorse. Help me. Please, take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse. I caught it swimming around here just off Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it at the town carnival, which should be starting soon. If you want it, I'll give it to you. On one condition. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? Yes, I do. Because I knew I needed one. Oh, that's it, that's it. I had a picture like that. Well, aren't you a crafty one? You'll give that to me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you this. You got a seahorse. Hurry, take it to its home at Pinnacle Rock. Thank you, hurry, take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. Okay. Ah, uh, now we'll start another area that I don't necessarily like. <laughs> For the, uh, for the Great Bay Area, and then also the, um, Ikana Canyon, um, 
slash Stonehead Temple area. Uh, both of those have like some stuff you have to do before the actual temple itself that are kind of just a pain in the ass. Which uh, I think this one faultily solves into the pain in the ass category. Eh, we don't need to talk to that Zora. He doesn't matter. Okay, um, let's let the seahorse out. Maybe. Let's dive. Here we go. You have strange powers, King Crab Zero. I have a request for you. Please follow me. So this one is kind of like the um the uh I forget what it's called in Ocarina of Time, but the like desert area that will sweep you away if you don't follow the ghost. But luckily this one's a little bit easier to get through. Not near as long. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. King Crab's here. Can you please find a way to rid the area of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Yes, I can do that. And then these guys kind of look like that eel from, uh, like, Super... Mario? I guess they look a little bit more creepy than the Super Mario eel. Let's see, though. Let's see if you get close to these guys. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see you guys got hands. Luckily, they only take a couple of those, and uh, you can take care of them. Uh, hopefully, there's some more, like, magic jars in this area or something. Because I am definitely running low on magic. Let's see, do all of these have an eel? Yes, they do. Okay, cool. I guess... Sea snake. Sea snake. Ah, come on, let go. Okay, this one will probably have some magic, actually. There we go. That is exactly what I need. That was not quite what I needed. Okay. We're going to go basically highest to lowest. Okay, got another egg in here. Uh, in this area, we just need to find three eggs. So, we grab another bottle. Actually, let's grab two more bottles. And then I'll equip another bottle even, because I don't know if you have to put the other um, seahorse in the bottle or not. We might as well just have it, just in case. I think some of the people I've seen stream this game, at least for the first time, <laughs> really struggled against these uh, sea snakes or whatever. Because uh, basically, they 
didn't know you could do that shielding stuff, and because of that, yeah, they'd often get hit by the sea snakes, and they'd have to kind of like wait at the edge and um, throw out some boomerangs. Actually, I think you can do that. I'm gonna see if I can try that for the next one. That might have been how I used to do it, was just kind of uh, get towards the edge. You can definitely do it for these uh, bottom ones. Oh, sweet. I don't know if you have to clear out all of these guys, but I'm just going to clear them out just in case. Uh, there are definitely a lot more of these guys than I remember there being, though. Much better that time. Um, I got a chest here. I'm going to assume that's probably like 20 rupees or something. <coughs> oh yeah, we still need to find the seahorse, if anything. I was like, did we get all the eggs? Which we do have all the eggs, at least. So I guess the seahorse will be on the next level. jars here. Yeah, one right here. Cool. I think if you're standing right here, you can just do that. Yeah, so I think that actually might have been what I would do as a kid. <clears throat> I said, can't quite remember because it's been a long time on that, but pretty sure that's actually what I used to do. It's like, oh man, I don't remember using quite all this mana to do this. Or magic points, magic power, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think as long as you're, like, clear of their hole here, you should be fine. <clears throat> and I think when you reunite these two, it'll just give you a heart piece, heart container. I don't know. It'd be wrong. Now, oh, let's see here. Speak. Thank you, King Crabs Hero. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. You got a piece of heart. You've collected three pieces so far. Collect one more to extend your life energy. Cool. Yeah, that's what I thought the reward would be, but it wasn't a hundred percent. And a useless uh, red rupee. Uh, let's go... Uh, actually, let's be smart about this. I'm just going to warp all the way to the... Um, laboratory or whatever it is. Uh, let's equip the ocarina really quick. Oh wait, can I not do that underwater? Damn. I feel like the Zora should be able to use the ocarina underwater since he's got the fishbone guitar. Uh, if that's the case, if I can't use that underwater, I guess I'm probably not going to be warping there. Okay, let's see if we can find enough land to stand on, maybe. As long as I can stand out of water, I think we'll be good. Uh, 
Does that crest the... Like, does that at least let me crest the water? No. Okay. Now... Oh, wait, can I actually get on top of those? No. Okay. Well, we're just going to leave this area then, and uh, go this way. Oh, what the hell? That was lame. I, I was like pressing up against the ladder. Let's line up perfectly, because uh, I guess sometimes in this game, if you're not lined up perfectly, it just doesn't count it. <clears throat> okay, um, we're not even going to talk to the old man yet. Just going to wait till after we deposit the uh, fish, or not even fish, but the eggs. The cool thing is, I only have to be a uh, Zora to uh, deposit them, so I'm going to take that off really quick. I will need to actually equip it again in just a second, I think. But until then, I can just drop these guys in. Good, all the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. Okay, I mean, I was in front of the aquarium, but, uh, cool. Make me, like, get up right on the glass. Can I tap on the glass, too? Can I do that? Look at this, what does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it. You understand the way these Zora children have lined up? It means... Yes, yes I do understand. Okay, um, we're gonna go like that. And, um, I don't care about the third spot. Okay, I had to move my headphones there. Uh, they were resting on such a way that I was kind of pressing my ears and my glasses. I was feeling uncomfortable. Nothing, not a thing. Could it be that you're using the wrong instrument? Motherfucker. Uh, they kind of look like, uh, whatever, I'm trying to think what that instrument, uh, I think it's like an Odaphone or something. I'm gonna look that up really quick, but yeah, basically it's shaped that same way, and then, like, I think it's played by running your finger along this, like, uh, uh, kind of sensor on it, and it'll make noise. Okay, uh, let me just see here. Oh, Otamaton. There we go. Otamaton. Yeah, it totally looks like a Otamaton. 
Uh, it's the melody taught by the Zora children in big grade singing voices. That, yes, that instrument. Hmm. If these Zoras were born to teach the song, then hurry. You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. That's what you say, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. I got other plans. Uh, let's see. I got to warp to the mountain village, pick up my uh, sword, as my sword should be done. And then, um, I think if there's any other side content I can do. Because I don't know. I don't know if I have enough time to do a. I don't know, I might have enough time for one of the two spider houses. Now let's go to this guy, though. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Your razor sword has been strengthened, now it's a gilded sword. You really forge, your sword is better than ever and will never break. There it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, it'll never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. I mean, he already said that he's going to keep, like, the extra, but he forged this for us for free. I was, I, I'm perfectly fine with giving him gold dust, you know? Uh, let's see here. So we got our sword back. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Um, I don't think there's any other side things in Great Bay. Oh, I guess there is, like, a couple... Let's go to Zora Village, actually. Because I just had the thought, uh, in the Zora Village, um, basically, there's like a kind of short side thing we can do. And then afterwards, I might do the, um, the spider house in the um, woodfall area. I think the next time I go for a break, I'm definitely going to grab some tea. I'm going to have to get a different teacup, though. It's again, the one that I was trying to use. I mean, it's not necessarily a teacup, per se, but it is a, uh, you know, one of those cups that's for coffee and stuff. So a coffee cup, which, I mean, coffee's really hot, so I don't know why it shattered on me. Uh, it's probably just getting old. Yeah, we'll go in here, and there's a couple of things we can do. Basically, I think we can get a heart container from someone. Oh, fuck, I missed... I remember what other side content I was going to do. I was going to uh, clear out all the graves in the graveyard. Man, I am not on the ball today. Like... There's, uh, there's sucking and then there's really sucking, and I think I'm doing more of the really sucking. Okay. Ah, Macau, what have you been doing this whole time? Evan, the band leader, has been waiting for you for a while now. Hurry, go in, go in. Uh, we're not going to go in there quite yet. Shut up, I'm busy right now. Ah, Macau, you caught me. E I, uh, Lulu's been, I, looking kind of weird lately. I was worried. It's not like I was spying on her or anything. I'm not some kind of weirdo or some sort of slimy fish or anything. Um, yeah. Uh, I just remembered that I have somewhere to be. What time is it? Uh, yeah, I have to be there, like, now. Uh, see ya. <coughs> okay, let's go talk to this Deku scrub. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with Zoras with a, fo er, with a focus on Zoras. That makes you a potential customer. 
Is this your room? I'm awfully sensitive to the sea breeze. I'm sorry, but I'd like you to rent this room to me. But my, this is a messy room. Did something happen here? Well, I really can't do anything about it. I'll sell you a green potion for 40 rupees. No. Literally not worth it. <laughs> green potion. I don't know. I never use green potion, though. Oh, this is Lulu's room. Uh, it's been two days since I've lost my voice. I want Macau to know, so I talked to Evan about it. He recommended I take the eggs to the marine research lab to have them checked. I think I will take them right away. Such a terrible thing has happened today that I won't even know where to begin writing. I heard a sound late at night, and when I opened my eyes, I saw strangers in my room. I tried to fight, but they were able to steal my precious eggs. It seems I lost consciousness after that. Today, I told everything to Macau, the one person whom I didn't want to know about it. At first, I was too embarrassed and too sad to do anything. And with the words that Macau said at that moment, I felt that all hope had been lost. But please, Macau, I'm begging you, don't do anything rash. And I did something rash and died. Well, I guess Macau did something rash and died, but... Yeah, potato, potato. Um... I'm just trying to figure out what your bed is in here. Oh, wait. I'm going to guess that this is probably your bed, maybe? Or maybe that's a table. Yeah, this looks like a entertainment area for uh, entertaining guests. I never, like, when I was younger, I never actually thought about the uh, sword that was in the, uh, or through the table there, or maybe that was the bed. So yeah, you learn stuff sometimes. Cow, do you need to see Jaffas? We're gonna have to have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait. Wait a second, um... I feel like one of these is Macau's room, so I'm guessing this one, maybe? No, it's probably across the way, actually. That's Lulu's. That's Chapa's. I mean, I, I would assume this would be the drummer's. Hey, Macau, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. Evan, your band leader's looking for you. This Evan's room? Like, did I... Okay, this isn't Evan's room. Oh, okay, I see what it is. Yeah. The two-tiered room. Mine's up there. Gonna do a jam session, and then, uh... And afterwards, we'll go deposit rupees and start a new three days. Now, let's see here. Can you read Zoran's script? <laughs> Macau, my diary. Today, Jaffas and I had a jam session. He's not good with words, but he writes great riffs. Here's why I played. You do. Today, I had Lulu listen to my session with Jaffas. She seemed to like it a lot. Lulu's a pretty great girl, after all. They had another jam session with Jaffas. Evan was in a bad mood because the two of us are writing songs on our own. Here's what I played. Evan called me over this morning. It was something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week is green. I mean, must not be his lucky color because green showed up and then, uh, you know, that's when his life, his mortal coil, finally left. I'm expecting a cool performance in your jam session with Jaffas. Okay, so we have to remember the uh, part we just learned there. And then we'll have to remember this guy's parts as well, I believe. There we go. Macau, where have you been? I'm all like, hey, where's Macau? The concert's coming up soon. 
Now our band leader has pulled a vanishing act. Evan's all holed up in his room, just writing songs. And to top it off, Lulu just stands out back, staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her. The guys think it's just because Lulu's not interested in me? I'd understand, but I'm telling you, it looks like something's really wrong. Is there something you're trying to hide from me? I'm not running an inquiry or anything. But look, if we don't start rehearsing real soon, we're not going to be ready for the concert. Okay, maybe we just have to do one of these then. Uh, there we go. You just have to stand in the right place, apparently. Huh? You want to have a jam session? Try following this phrase I wrote on your guitar. I got it. Here I go. I always did kind of like the uh, feel of this. got a good feel to it. Even Evan would like this, but he's so proud he'd resent the fact that we wrote something on our own. I don't think he'd let, let the others try it out. What do you think we should do? Well, I know exactly what we should do. We'll have a third party go, uh, you know, introduce this to him. Okay, so that one was... Jappus, uh... Let's see, this should be the band leader. Man, his uh his keyboard is not as you know great as the um one guys. Ah, if Lulu's voice doesn't return, I don't know what we can do. Hey, how'd you get in here? I shouldn't have put up with this. People aren't not associated with the band aren't allowed in here. Well, an autograph, we'll be giving them out at the town's carnival, so wait until then. Okay, I guess I just have to remember this. Ah, oh, man, let's start over. Okay, let's try this one more time. C stick uh, for this, well, not even C stick, but C controls on the Switch are throwing me off real hard. <laughs> so, do, do, down, A, A, down, right, A. Back, back. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, maybe it's okay okay now I remember how this goes huh that song Hmm, it works, it works, it works. <clears throat> I 
I always like this part of it because it's like it doesn't necessarily prompt you that this is something you can do here because like normally when there's music you have to play uh, it'll bring up like a music bar or something but yeah that's a uh, not bad it's a pretty good song that I just made up yeah this one you just kind of have to know that you just have to play it for him you've got a good sense of melody we'll play my new song at our next show take this and thanks now uh, get another piece of heart. We've assembled a new heart container. You're not thinking of stealing our, your song, do you? Or you not think I'm stealing your song, do you? No. I mean, technically, he's stealing Macau's song uh, and Japis's song. But Macau's uh, not here to argue it, so I think he's all good. Oh man, you know what, I kind of wonder what would happen if I play the song back to him now as Macau. But, yeah, well, we're not going to worry about that quite yet. We're going to go to town, deposit some rupees, and then uh, we'll start a new set of three days. And then hopefully that new set of three days will run much more smoothly than the current set of three days has. I mean, I did get a whole bunch of things done, but god damn, man. I have I have messed up several times. Deposit. Ah, yes, King Crab Zero. Yes. So, how much, how much, I know. What do I get? Oh my... <laughs> I deposit a thousand rupees and get five rupees. <laughs> That's what they call interest. That seems about right, actually. That feels appropriate. Uh, let's see. Let's play the Song of Time. I mean, I could probably try to fit something into the last five hours in this day, but I don't know. I feel like I'd be cutting it real close. Also, I kind of love how many rupees it looks like uh, Link lost there, because there was several green and then the uh, blue rupee. And it's like, but I, only, I literally only had a blue rupee on me. Okay. Um. Yeah, so it's a new day. Let's play the Song of Inverted Time. Okay, let's try this one more time. going to do here is I'm actually going to come back in here uh, just so this will stop time. Uh, since I'm on, like, I'm basically past the point that I was going to take my first, like, actual break break yet. I do that right now. Probably, probably like 10 minutes. Grab some food, maybe, well, maybe a snack. I shouldn't even say food. And then, uh, use the restroom and whatnot. So I'm going to do that. Uh, while I do that, I'm just going to put up my little intermission screen. It's going to have some clips. Hopefully you enjoy them. I'll be back in probably like, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll just say 10 minutes or less. Okay, guys, I'm back. Made some tea instead of grabbing a snack. So, uh, I did finally find my peppermint oil. It was just a different spot than in my roommate's room than I was expecting. So, give me just a second. I'm adding a little bit of that to my tea really quick. Because I do always enjoy peppermint tea, and this is just a makeshift way of making peppermint tea, basically. <laughs> I 
But yeah, I think this will help clear the uh, stuff in my throat. So, hot water usually helps clear your throat up a little bit if you have something stuck in it. Yeah, tea definitely has plenty of hot water, so. Let's use my tea bags here to uh, help incorporate the peppermint. Cool. Leave that off to the side just for a moment. Just let it steep a little bit longer uh, while we're doing that, though. Actually, let's leave this mask on. Um, I don't think we've, uh, gone through, like, all of these different masks with them. I think we did the Great Fairies and some of the other ones. I'm just gonna go through, though, and, uh, go through his reactions to all of them. Ah, oh, that shape! You have the spirit of the Zor who could not be healed. So then, have you recovered Majora's mask? You still haven't done it. I keep telling you that if you don't get it back soon, terrible things will happen. Only 71 hours remain, but time is not eternal. Please make the most of your time. Truly, you should be able to do something. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Okay, we'll come with the Goron mask. Ah, yes, you. You're the spirit of the Goron who cannot be healed. Okay, uh, same stuff for that. Um, I think, uh... I think I'm going to try with the Deku Mask just to see if they ha like if he has anything different to say about it now. Oh, you. Nope, okay. So we'll go with the Stone Mask first. That mask. That's the Stone Mask, isn't it? That is a fine mask. It is filled with an appreciation for things that go unnoticed. You have done some good work. Keep up the pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. That mask. That's the blast mask, isn't it? That's is a fine mask. It is filled with the feelings of gratitude. You have done some good work. Keep up the pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Let's take this off really quick. Grab three more. I did always like this part of this game, like, just checking what the different reactions to the masks are. That mask. That's the Great Fairy's mask, isn't it? That is quite rare. Normally you wouldn't be able to get one of those. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. I will just skip that last part since we keep hearing it. That mask. That's the mask of sense, isn't it? You've done well to get that mask. Looking at its condition, I can tell that its previous owner was neat and tidy. Okay, the Don Garo's mask. That mask, that's Don Garo's mask, isn't it? That mask has a very operatic feel about it. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. Yeah, grab three more. That mask, that's Cafe's mask, isn't it? The worry of a concerned mother is expressed quite well in that mask. Unfortunately, that's in the mask I'm looking for. Keep up the pace. Why, that's... That's the bunny hood, isn't it? That is a fine thing. It is filled with kindness towards animals. You have done some good work. That mask. That mask is the Bremen mask, isn't it? If you have that, then it would appear you have the qualities of a leader. Unfortunately, and we've already read that. So, oh, we only have three more to go over now. Now let's start with this one. That mask. That's Camaro's mask, isn't it? That's a fine mask. It's filled with the joy of a teacher as in finding a good student. <laughs> that mask. That's the Garo's mask, isn't it? If you have that mask, you must be one with quite a bit of courage. That mask. 
That's the captain's head, isn't it? That's a splendid thing. It earns the respect of the sworn allegiance of er the sworn allegiance of legions of soldiers. Okay, cool. So we got all of those out of the way. Ooh. Got the breath of the uh, peppermint oil coming off the tea there, and whew, let me tell you. That was uh that was some spicy air. Okay, um Let's equip a few random things for now. Actually, let's put on the... Uh, nah, this this should be a good setup for now. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to get the... I think it's 50 rupees that you get from the... Uh, chest that respawns over this other way. Oh, and I think there's another chest we can get now that we have the hook shot. Ah, oh, it's a silver rupee. 100 rupees. You're pretty happy. <laughs> Okay, I think this might be a uh, purple rupee. Nope, red rupee. So only 20 rupees, but hey, that's uh, it's better than nothing. Uh, we do have a decent amount of money. I am going to buy us a um, powder keg, as we will need to clear out the boulder from uh, in front of the, uh, well, from Milk Road. But yeah. Let me, uh, take another drink of tea really quick. <sighs> oh, of all places. You're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So won't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees? How about it? Okay. Cool. And then, uh, with that, we'll go warp to the Milk Road. thinking about it. Uh, let's go like this. We'll capture this fairy. And then we will equip this so we can just blow this up really quick. Ah, oh, that's a lot quicker. <laughs> Forgot how quick it is. Um, let's go like this. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's equip the um, the bow now. Yeah, we're just gonna go kill the um, bird out front. Now, let's see here. I guess we'll put on the bunny hood for now. Yeah, this should basically max out our rupees for now, and I think what I'm going to do 
is instead of going straight for um, the water temple, I think I'm going to go for the spider house in Great Bay first. Because that'll give me um, the giant's wallet if I get it done. And the giant's wallet's pretty useful because it lets you carry 500 rupees, so I won't have to store rupees as often. And it'll be a lot easier to get the um, amount that the banker's looking for to get the last reward. Because I think the last reward you get it like 5,000 rupees, or maybe it's 10,000. Okay. I'm gonna see what's up in this chest over here. I think it's probably just a red rupee. I might as well check, just to be safe. <laughs> yep, red rupee. Um, I don't know that we really need to spend any more money, so I'm just gonna deposit all these rupees real quick. Deposit rupees. Excuse me, let me take a look at you. Ah, yes, King Crab Zero. <laughs> okay. 200 rupees. Deposit all those. And then let's grab the Ocarina, and we'll just warp to Great Bay. So let's take that off. Equip that. Up that and then play the song of soaring. Yeah, even though I didn't really do perfectly on the um oh fuck, I was supposed to supposed to activate the uh owl statue at um Zora's domain. Got to do that. We'll do that when we actually go to um, the Water Temple. Wait, that's right. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button there. I was like, shield, shield. Come on. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Need to unequip that. And then I guess we'll use a fire arrow to burn down the spider web up there. And I'm not sure what's all going to show up in these pots, so let's uh let's see. Hopefully I say, uh, hopefully get more arrows, which we do have a full quiver now. So we should have plenty for this area. Um, if I remember right, this is the area that, because I've already gotten the captain's hat, that should do real well for us here. And I think behind these masks and stuff will be more, more of the uh, gold scultulas. 
I guess they'll just crawl out, actually. Uh, oh, there's one up on top here. Gotta yeah, find ourselves a good angle on that, but let's see if we can get this guy first. crawls along the ceiling somewhere. Maybe not in this room. How does this room? Okay, definitely none in those. I just felt inclined to open it up. Uh, the ones that will have a um, golden skull to are going to be the ones that are um, basically have an opening on top. Up, oh, wrong button again. How many you need to clear out an area? I think it's like 30. So, it's definitely going to take us a while. Uh, let's remove the ocarina and we'll put on the uh, captain's hat. Again, I think this is the one where the captain's hat comes into play. I totally thought I'd cleared that, but apparently not. <laughs> One around here somewhere still. Okay, it wasn't this. I just when I rolled against it the first time, he didn't pop out. Okay, cool. That was all of the ones in this room. I already got 12 of them. So I'd say that's uh, pretty good. We're almost halfway there for uh, spiders. I'm starting to think maybe I could have gotten this done in the uh, final hours or whatever. I know I've done it before in the final hours, but oh man. It always feels a little bit rough to do. Nope, not who I wanted to take care of. Captain, sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. 
As you ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems Green should be shot first. Have I fulfilled my duties, sir? Yes. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I have provided will be of assistance to you, sir. As you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. This fucking dies. Okay, let's see here. Can I reach that guy? Oh my god, I can. Nice. Okay, that one's got another one of those uh, little portals behind it, or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Oh, I overshot that. Oh, this one's got something behind it. Captain, sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems Green should be shot sixth. So Green is first and sixth. Uh, he's fulfilled his duties, now he's just gonna fuck off and die. We get a heart out of him. A little bit messed up. Okay. Go find some more creepy crawlies. Little creepy crawlies. Oh, looks like we can move this as well. There's only one more uh, skull to the left in this room, then. It's gonna be this one over here. Uh, we'll do a loop around this room just to hear for any skull to is moving. Seems that was it, so that puts us at 18. We're over halfway there now. Uh, let's go downstairs. And then there's definitely several more rooms down there. Um, one's actually going to have several more of the uh, guys. With the, uh, I think I'm Captain Kida. I'm not sure which one I should go in first, so let's go in this one first, since it's the one you encounter first. Okay, um, we'll see. Huh? Ah, oh, Captain, sir, it's been, uh, we've already read that. Uh, let's see. So, red should be shot fifth, so green first and sixth, red is fifth. So, yellow is third, green first, yellow third, red fifth, green sixth. So, green first, yellow third, green fourth, red fifth, and then green sixth. Man, we're getting a lot of green today.
Reg second. So green, red, yellow, green, red, green. Okay, I can't remember if you have to do this with a bow or if you can do it with a hook shot. Okay, have to do with the bow. I think it just has to be regular arrows. I don't know that fire arrows will actually work on this. Uh, even if they did, it wouldn't quite be worth it to me. So green, red, yellow, green, red, green. <clears throat> Okay, let's go see if any of these vessels contain them. Uh, looks like that one has a hole, so it should have one. Can't tell if either. Well, that one doesn't have a hole, the small one. I wasn't able to see the top of the big one that time. I wasn't able to see the top of that one either, so we're just going to be. A little bit safe here and just uh, give an attempt anyway. Cool. Doesn't seem like uh, that one was important, but better safe than sorry. Okay, I was going to say, is this the one with the chandelier? Yes, it is. Okay. I don't even remember if you can just hit this with a hook shot or if you have to, like, Zora rang these guys. I think you have to Zora rang them. Um, we'll give it to try with the bow, though, just to see if maybe we can shoot it down. Okay, definitely not. I shoot them from below, maybe. Zora rings then. Wrong button. Actually, can I just shoot them from the bottom? <laughs> oh yeah, it's much easier when you do the targeting like that. Man, I used to have like so much trouble with uh, getting those ones as a kid, but apparently it's pretty easy if you just come from the uh, come from the bottom, then hit them with the um... oh man, yeah, come from the bottom and then hit them with the uh, Zora rings afterwards. Not sure, what's going to be in this chest actually? Uh, is it a piece of heart? It is a piece of heart, sweet. Okay, we cleared out this room completely. Uh, it means there should only be one more room we have to clear out. Which is going to be the final room. 
You know, I already dismissed those guys. I don't know why they're back. Like, I told them that they can leave. Um, kind of fucked off and died when I told them they can leave, so I don't know why they're back. Oh, wrong button. I forgot. Well, I should say right button, wrong item. I forgot that I had put on or replaced the fire arrows with the um, Zora mask. Let's see if this will just go through them. Aw, oh, bows. I don't need bows right now. Are there any more of those? Now, it looks like that was it. Cool. Oh, actually, let's uh, do that. Well, I got some more arrows at least. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be uh, another spider or something, but apparently not. Okay. Up top. Pretty sure there's a couple or a few up here. Okay, maybe just one. Maybe just one. Okay, doesn't sound like there's any on the rim. Or didn't look like there's any on the rim, I should say. Uh, I wonder if these are flammable. Let's see. No. I'll just come from over behind then. Sounds like there should be one in here. Um, lens of truth, maybe? Yeah, let's give it the lens of truth. Oh, I know what it probably is. They hit it right behind me. They were they were clever on that one. They were clever. Oh, and this is probably gonna be the last one. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty easy to uh, clear actually. So let's uh, go out and then uh, basically we should be able to get the giant's wallet now. Which, again, is kind of useful. It lets you carry 500 rupees. Okay, fine. I'll right, take out the captain's hat. Put the Goron's mask and roll up here then. <clears throat> I thought I heard some loud noises inside and I came in to check it out. This place. Is this some sort of underground shelter? Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. You got the giant wallet. This thing is huge. It can hold up to 500 rupees. I'm just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. Um, let's go clear out the other spider house, the one that's in the swamp really quick. Since, uh, we haven't done that one yet. It did actually kind of require some items that you didn't get till uh, later in the swamp area. So, that's the only reason why I haven't done it yet. Like, I'm pretty sure I needed either the Zora rings or the hookshot to reach some of these spiders, so... Um... Not the Southern Swamp. Let's go with the Woodfall one. Yes. And I guess while I'm here, I'll actually just clear out Woodfall Temple then. Because that's not going to take too long, I can't imagine.
well, I guess it's gonna take equipping this mask and then playing the song and then going in fighting the boss. Uh, how does this one go? Oh yeah, I remember now. <clears throat> ah, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I should have equipped the uh, Deku mask. Here we go, much better. Okay, let's um let's equip our bow. And maybe Yeah, let's just equip our bow since I don't have anything else stocked up. Yes, go to the lair of the temple boss, and then he should be a lot easier. because uh, I think if you shoot him with an arrow, it kind of stuns him temporarily. And then uh afterwards basically we should be able to take him down real quick with uh our gilded sword. I guess those do do damage to him as well. If that's the case, I think I'll actually uh, bust out the fire arrows. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at that. He went down super quick, super easy. And I'm just going to pick up those heart pieces because I feel like they're really well deserved at this point. Okay. Yeah, there's fire, or there's bomb flowers around the surrounding. I actually didn't notice those before. I wonder if those play into the fight regularly. Okay, no one cares about saving the princess. So we're just going to head out and then we should be able to go over to the spider house a little bit easier now. Because otherwise I would have had to like kind of uh, maneuver around in there. It's not like too hard or anything. I'm just feeling a little bit lazy. Too lazy to do that, basically.
And then from this uh, spider house, we'll actually get a mask, so... Okay, we're not going to talk to them. We've already talked to them before. You realize that we didn't have all the stuff we'd need for this temple. Let's do that, and we'll grab that as well. Actually, no. Uh, we will do a bottle instead. Oh, I guess what I should have done is lifted the rock outside. Yeah, let's go do that so I can actually get some bugs. Because I'm going to need bugs. Bugs are important in this temple. Uh, we'll fill up all of our bottles with bugs. Okay. The cool thing about bugs is you can generally just replicate them. We'll pour some out, grab one of them. Just gotta maintain at least one bottle of bugs while we're in there at a time. And we'll equip that, and I guess I'll leave the other ones on bugs for now. I think there's probably gonna be one here, and if not, um, Let's grab another one. Cool. I think there's uh, one on one of these pillars that crawls up and down. Up oh, there he is. Yeah, the fact that they put um, spring water there kind of makes me feel like maybe I need some magic beans too. We'll see if we can get by without magic beans though. care of those guys. I'm just going to replicate some more bugs. Because again, this this temple here, just uh, it's bugs, bugs, bugs. You need so many of them. shot there and I think that's it for all the first floor spiders let's go and check out some of these other rooms This one's definitely going slower than the uh, ocean front one. Ocean front one was going super quick. Like you got like uh, 12 just in the first room alone, so cleared that thing super fast too. I don't have any bombs, but I do have the blast mask, so we'll just use that. And then bugs. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm actually sorely disappointed in that. Okay, that was not what I was intending to do. I always forget, like, when you re or when you equip the uh, blast mask, that uh, you basically don't have a sword at that point, since your blast is your sword, or where your sword would have been. One, we're a third of the way there. Well, let's see here. Like that one. I do appreciate in this game that they at least give you a hint on where they are. Uh, based on where the scratching's coming from. So, definitely doesn't sound like there's any more on this side of the room. So we will move towards the other side of the room. Let's take a look just to make sure. And yeah, it seems like that was the case, so drop down. And it seems like it's going to be in this wall. So, bugs again. As I said, bugs are the most important part of this one. Then having a hook shot, because I'm pretty sure you can't reach most of them without a hook shot. Which is kind of a pain, but I guess it is what it is. Okay. Just want to make sure. Don't hear any more scratching though, so this room should be clear. Um. Okay. I wonder if we can use the Goron Mass to hit these instead of having to roll against them. That would be much more convenient. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe that's not the case, so we'll just roll against him. Doesn't matter. Ah, bastards. <laughs> okay. So, let's do this, and then we'll wake this guy up. Once we wake him up, he'll just go uh, run out of the flower and crash... Well, if I didn't cut that, I think he just kind of crashes through that and then crashes into the wall. Or maybe just digs down. Actually, I think that's what he does. I think he just digs down. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to replicate some bugs before we use any on that spot. Because I definitely don't want to run out of these guys. Um, I'm not sure how many more soil spots I need to do. So, always safe to just make sure you have enough bugs. Okay, let me grab one. And, oh, you motherfucker. Okay, we'll just, uh, let's go with that one. Call it good there for now. Then we'll go down to the uh, other surface down there and hopefully we'll be able to reach. I think only one of these is a Skulltula. I think the other ones are just items, or this last one I think is actually a wasp. But we'll, we'll break it anyway, just to be safe. Oh, actually I guess it wasn't a wasp. That's surprising. Okay, how do I get back up there? Um, I think it's this door right here. Yes, cool. So, put the Deku scrub mask back on. And actually with that, I think... I don't know that we need to replicate any more bugs. I think that might have actually been the last spot for where you need bugs. <coughs> I guess we'll see, though. Actually, I bet you there's bugs in this uh, under this rock. Well, we got full bugs again. That's what matters. <laughs> uh, we'll go back through here again, though. Uh, what's this do? Oh, it puts a ladder, I think. Damn, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm real dumb. Oh, even more bugs. one. That was the wall, or I guess the ceiling. That one was a bee. Okay, let's hit this last one over here. There should be a Skulltula here in this corner, somewhere. Somewhere over here, right? 
Is it this one? No, it must have been another one. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll try to get these ones on top of the tree here first. Yeah, that goes. Remember these guys being a little bit of a pain. Um, oh man, if I had a bomb or a bomb too, that would actually be amazing right now. Yeah, let's see if we can hit them with a. Bo oh, I did find it. It was over here. <laughs> Oh, I know what to do. Let's uh, let's bomb mask this because then it should take off, and I think when it hits the ceiling, it'll blow up. Big brain, big brain. Big brain, <laughs> bad execution. Okay, let's see. What is the best area to try to shoot these guys from? Okay, this is just passed straight through here. Well, let's see. Can you climb any of this? I don't think you can. Nope. Okay. So yeah, I guess you do have to use like the Zora rings on this one probably. I think this is the one that's like more of a struggle than even the chandelier. there's like a uh, something in the like a flower or something hidden around here Okay, doesn't seem like there is. Um, oh. I guess we'll try with the Zora rings again and just uh, see if we can get them. Or maybe we'll just have to find like a good spot that we can try to get it with the hook shot. You remember some of these ones being a real pain. Okay, I'm just going to aim a little bit above the branch there and see if it lets me get it. Actually, I have an idea. Not a good idea, but it's an idea. What if I just 
roll against the tree. Oh my god, that was so much easier. I was, I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, two more left. I just gotta find the last two now. Last two aren't in here. Check the main room. If we hear any scritchity scratchity. Um, actually, let's go check the front of the temple. Uh, not temple, but the front of the spider house. No, okay. It was worth it was worth trying. <laughs> Sometimes they do like to hide them in areas like that. I was going to uncover all of these really quick, just make sure I didn't miss one that was hiding behind any of these boxes. Not there. Let's get to the other side then. Oh, that's where they are. They're hidden up there. It uh, fooled me because I didn't hear them scratching before. So, finally found them. Yeah, let's just go down and kill these guys, and then we only have to worry about the wasps. See, that was that was the smart way to do it. <laughs> I was gonna battle those wasps, but battling wasps can be a little bit of a pain. Oh, I've been saved. I thought I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich, and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I never would have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. You got the Mask of Truth. This is the same mask as the, sh uh, mask the Sheikah spoke of. This mask allows you to hear and understand the wisdom of gossip stones and the thoughts of animals. I had enough of this. As soon as I get it together, I'm going home. Uh, let's give this a test. So basically, to use this, what you do is you equip it, you pick up an animal, and you hear their thoughts. Rough, stupid masters. Eyes are always filled with greed and desire. Okay, get rid of the puppy. Little puppers. Uh, let's see, how much time do I have? Okay. Um, I got, like, the perfect amount of time to, like, not have enough time. <laughs> What side content can I do? Um, still need to do Great Bay. Oh, I I did unlock Sora Hall. Wait, did I? When did I unlock Sora Hall? I don't recall doing that. I honestly don't recall unlocking the Zora Hall one. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're just gonna warp the Zora Hall then. I uh, will at least unlock the uh, turtle for uh, Lulu. We'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll do the song for Lulu so we unlock the turtle so we can go to uh, the water temple. I'm not gonna start the water temple yet just because. Oh, I see, I see. I have it on the map. I haven't unlocked the owl statue. Okay, cool. That checks out actually. A deck of palace, woodfall, clock town, snowhead, iconic graveyard, iconic canyon, village. Um, I've already done the first day of like the iconic graveyard, so it wouldn't make sense to go do that. I guess I can start on a little bit of the iconic stuff though, which will make it easier later. Yeah, let's let's do that actually. So, um. I don't have the warp to Ikanya Canyon yet, but I will be able to unlock it here in just a second. Uh, the closest one. Let's see, Southern Swamp is right across. Like, it's, it's basically opposite of it, so. Uh, Mountain Village is right next to it, but getting out of there is a pain because you have ice. I mean, I could use the fire arrows, but I think I'll just go to Clock Town, put on the Goron Mask, and roll over to Icona uh, Canyon. I think it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, okay. I was wrong. It's in the, uh, it's in the east. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking it was in the north. I guess it makes sense that the, uh, mountains would be in the north. Now here's what we'll do. We'll take that off and then... Uh, put that on. Put that on. And... Put the Garo's mask on. Oh wait, no. Let's uh, let's switch out the bow for the hook shot. Nope, nope. Wrong song. Wrong song. Wrong song. We're gonna say no. Only doing this though is to uh, not get cursed. I mean, it doesn't quite matter because I'm not going to use my sword quite yet. But it would be nice not to get up here with a curse. So, hee hee hee! That's what nice mask you're wearing. That's the mask of the leader of the ninjas who once spied on the hilltop castle with bloodstained history. With that, you may be able to call out their spirits that even are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to save the souls that wander beyond here. Hee hee hee. Okay. Uh, let me check something in my bomber's notebook really quick. I just want to confirm the time that I have to go to Romani Ranch. So yeah, about 2 a.m. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. So, go up here. And we'll actually encounter an enemy that is unique to this game we haven't seen before. Damn it, I've been jinxed, that's what it is. I was cursed. Apparently it's jinxed. Okay. I think I'm going to let this curse run out because, uh... I'm going to just wear this mask as I kind of travel across Akana. And not being able to pull your sword is not really advisable for uh, going through here. Well, 
While I'm waiting for it to run out, though, I'm just going to drink the last little bit of my tea. There we go. I'll put my teacup off to the side somewhere here. I will get some more later. <laughs> Guess we'll have some more uh, mint water while I wait. Oh, look, I, I'm actually already good. Didn't take quite as long to clear as I thought it was. I just, I just felt like for some odd reason they took forever for that uh, curse to clear or whatever. Being jinxed. Master. Er, <clears throat> Master, you called? What are you? I think with the normal sword, it takes a couple of hits. Um, with the gilded sword, it only takes one hit. Regrettable. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I should take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. To cross the Valley of Akana, aim at the river beast with the arrowhead that freezes. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse, that is the way of us Garo. Fuck. That just tells me that I don't have the item that I need to get over there. I forgot, you do need the ice hero to freeze them, and then once you freeze like the Octorok... Uh, basically, you can cross. I guess while we're out and about, though, let's go see what this guy over here has for sale. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business here in this canyon. You should give up going to the far side of the canyon. That place is cursed. If you don't have something that drives away demons, they'll catch you. Rumor has it, demons aren't afraid unless they see something that looks the same as themselves. Don't you, uh, don't you need any blue potion in case you're cursed? One drink is a hundred rupees. We're gonna hit him with a no. I don't care if I'm cursed, honestly. Um, yeah, let's, uh, no, nah, we're not gonna go that way. I was thinking about just, uh, dropping down there, but if you do that, all it really does is it'll drop you into the, uh, southern swamp area. It'll drop you into the... I'm going to do that because now I'm, like, questioning that. That just doesn't seem like it should be right. Okay, okay. It does. Well, I was hoping for, like, a little bit more coinage than that, but uh, apparently that's not the case today. Um, I know what we'll do for coinage. I'm just going to farm up some coins outside of Romani Ranch. Since we are going to need um, to be there anyway at 2. Only 53 hours and 44 minutes remaining. I wonder if this is like, I, I can't remember, I think it is, where if you use the Mask of Truth on these, I think they'll uh, tell you stuff. The mystical stone responds to the mask and speaks to you, but its words are heard in secret. The Swamp Tourist Center will not accept pictographs taken outside the swamp, but if you bring a pictograph of the god's son, he'll give you something nice. Okay, we're just going to warp to uh, the Milk Road then. And we'll uh, farm up a couple of... Uh, we'll farm up to 500 rupees while we're uh, waiting for the defense of the ranch. Before I have to climb the uh, house and act like I've climbed a clock tower. Oh. While I'm at it, let's get rid of these uh, bugs since we've uh, gotten out of there and I literally don't need them for anything else.
Okay. And we'll do this and one of these. Oh, you motherfucking fairy. <laughs> that was not nice. That was not nice. Okay. Try this again. I would like to get just one more fairy just to be safe. Because the Woodfall Temple can be a little bit of a pain. Or not the Woodfall, but the uh, Water Temple can be a little bit of a pain. Okay. Uh, we cleared those out. Let's do this. And then this. And then I guess maybe even one of these. The Mystical Stone responds to you. Or responds to the mask and speaks to you. But its words are heard in secret. The spirit of a charismatic dancer who died in Termina Field dances there night after night. I guess we'll take that mask off now, and we'll just equip the bunny hood. Let's just go back and forth really easy. He doesn't look happy about the treatment I gave him. He's coming at me like he was going to speak to my manager or something. He's coming with some authority. Or maybe some sort of uh, entitlement. I always find that funny, like, when you, uh, switch screens after getting a huge rupee, just because, like, it'll still be counting up the rupees for you. I don't know, some, something about it always entertains me. Because basically you're moving faster than you can count rupees. Okay, let's, uh, let's try not to miss, since, uh, our arrows do take up our magic power. Pretty sure he's making fun of me there. I think one more arrow will do it. We'll just wait for him to come in a little bit closer. Oh yeah, I was right. Okay, I'm not going to push it any further on time. I do have 400-something rupees, so that's good enough for now. Now, this one I think should be arrows. There we go. And yeah, let's just go, uh, go talk. Well, I don't even think we have to really talk to her. If we, if we arrive before the operation starts, we can actually uh, speak with her. But literally, like, you only have to speak with her before the uh, aliens show up, and you can do the defense of the ranch. Well, I don't, I don't know if, like, you don't have to speak with her to begin with. I just mean, like, uh, you only have to actually visit her in the barn. But we'll just, we'll talk to her. Uh, get some flavor text in here, maybe. You're not here? Oh, wait, she said she'd be in here at 2. Okay, my bad, my bad. <clears throat> we'll see if, uh, we'll see if we see her leaving the house to come out here. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's 
it's almost time. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hey there, Denki. Welcome back. Or maybe you're still here. Oh, you're back, you're back. Sweet. I was right in assuming that you had uh, taken off for a bit. <laughs> well, let's go talk to her, see if we can get some flavor text. It's almost time. Okay, I guess that's the only thing she says while we're waiting. I guess I'm going to go climb up to the uh, the clock tower position up here. That way when the aliens show up, I will be ready. See, it would be nice if there was some way on the barn, because I would totally, totally go for that. <laughs> Nope, nope, not even the jump there. Something makes me think there's actually probably something good and valuable in the back of the uh, wall there. Given the placement of the uh, spot where you can put bugs. Actually, I think I'm going to return time to normal, normal for a moment here. That way this doesn't take quite as long to do. <clears throat> Makes it so I have to be a little bit more attentive as uh, these things will move faster now. But, uh... Okay, we're, we're gonna slow this down, actually. That was, uh, that, that went a lot quicker than I was expecting, honestly. <laughs> Oh, that arrow killed it? After the fact? What the hell? I feel a little bit cheated. Okay, now we'll return the flow of time to normal. I think this is a little bit better position. I mean, you can see more of the farm from the, uh, we'll call it the clock tower position, but I don't know, this, this seems a little bit better. That one just tried to sneak past me. What a jerk. Yeah, I don't think any of them are going to get here. 
Uh, definitely not. <clears throat> See, when I, when I was younger, I was always, like, much more worried about keeping them, like, really far away, but as I got older, uh, I knew that basically all you had to do was, like, kill them once they got closer, and then you didn't have to shoot as many times. Uh, phased, so if you're phased, it's like, um, I guess another good word to compare to that would be, like, flustered. But, yeah, if something phases you, it kind of takes you aback. Okay, we're going to slow back down the current flow of time. And then let's see here. Uh, let's warp to Z er, well, not Zora's domain. I haven't unlocked that um, owl statue yet, which is dumb. I really should have earlier. I was literally there. It was part of my plan to unlock it, and I didn't. Ah, oh, no worries. I I know like a decent amount of vocabulary, but I am so bad at defining words. Like, when it comes to breaking words down into, like, the simpler form, like, just a, a simple way of defining them, I'm just terrible at it sometimes. Like, you could even do it with an e easy word, and I'll be like, uh, I could probably get you a synonym. But to actually just put, like, a very clear dictionary definition, I'm not so great at that. I feel like the reason for that, too, is probably related to uh, when I was in school. Oh my god. Yo, I wish Mavris was still here, but I'm pretty sure he went to bed. Like, I would be amazed if Mavris was still here at this point, honestly. But yeah, no, uh, when Mavris and I were in school, um, we'd went to, like... I'd moved out to Caldwell when I was at the very end of middle school. So 8th grade, and I think it was 8th grade, or maybe it was our sophomore year of high school. Um, actually, I'm starting to think it was sophomore year of high school. Yeah, it was at the high school. Uh, but yeah, basically... Basically, uh, we had this teacher for biology, like, I think his name is Mr. Burfind or something. I guess I will hydrate then. I'll even do it with the mint water. Ooh, minty. Very, very minty. So it's getting a little bit more minty as it goes, so like I think it's concentrating. But yeah, uh, we had this teacher, Mr. Burfind, I think it was his name, who taught us uh, biology at the uh, high school. <clears throat> and oh my god. He's the reason why, like, I would definitely not be about giving dictionary definitions, because uh, we had this test, and basically on the test, um, I knew the materials and stuff, like, real well, but uh, I don't think Mavericks knew it quite as well as I did. And basically, Mavericks was copying off my test, and I was like, okay, fine, fine. Like... As long as he changed things, that's fine. So he was copying along. We yeah, we we get through the test. Um, I, th I forget how long it was afterwards that the test was graded. But once the test was graded, like we both got it back, and I had a lower score than Mavris, even though he literally copied everything from my test. And then I was like, let me see your test real quick, and I looked at it. And, like, basically all of our answers were the same. And, like, uh, I was like, what the fuck? Like, why is my test marked down? Like, and I looked at the one that was marked down. Like, there was one in particular that was marked down where it's like, I had an answer that was, uh, you know, more dictionary definition-ish than, uh, Mavericks's. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, mine's, like, closer to what the definition should be, you know? Why did I get that wrong? 
So I go up and I ask the teacher, like, why, why did I get marked down on this one? He's like, well, it looks like you just copied it from the book. Like, yeah, well, I'm not accusing you of cheating or anything, but it looks like you just copied it from the book. Like, I, I need a uh, definition that's in your own words. It's like, well, this is my own words. Like, I knew the definition, I knew what it meant, and these are my own words. So I put them down. And like, yeah, he just kept arguing the point of like, I'm not going to get you credit for that. And I had this moment of like, do I throw, do I throw Mavericks under the bus? Because like, I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, my thought was like, dude, Mavericks literally copied from me and got a better score because like the teacher didn't appreciate. I put like a dictionary type definition for a vocabulary word on this biology test. I didn't end up throwing Mavericks under the bus, even though I, I strongly had considered it. Because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He copied and got a better score. But yeah, no, uh. Yeah, after that, I don't think I've ever been quite as good with like remembering words in like a very vocabulary, dictionary type of way. I think that teacher ruined it for me. Do, 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 do. Okay. So it's like do first part of a pwn is um not quite serious. <laughs> See if you ask Mavericks about that story, he'll actually uh he'll laugh at it quite a bit. Cause I was I was so pissed, like, and I had a lot more of a temper in uh, you know, uh, around that time. Like I can sometimes have a temper, but I, I'm generally a pretty calm person. But no, at that time, like, it, it was much easier to like anger me and stuff. And I was so fucking pissed, like, so pissed. And like the teacher basically. Like, I was astounded. It's like, you're a fucking teacher, and you're marking me down because, like, I used some higher vocabulary to define this word. Like, what the fuck? You're stunting my growth. <laughs> I just realized this when I opened my eyes. The passing of days is quite quick, isn't it, Lulu? Yes, Lulu. It's nothing to be surprised at. Although my eyes were closed in that sleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. Hmm. It seems Lulu is confused. Regrettably, there is no time for idle conversation. Now then, proud Zora warrior. The open seas of Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly climb onto my back. Okay, let's take that off. I guess we have to put the um, hook shot on now. And let's try and nab one of these trees. <coughs> Woo! I do find it weird that, like, uh, they made it so you had to hook shot onto the back of the turtle. It's kind of like, why? I feel like it would make more sense if you could just get onto it as a Zora. Because you need the hookshot in the first place just to get the eggs and stuff. So it's not like you can do it without the hook. Like, without already having hookshot. <laughs> I always found this uh, Gerudo excursion into this area kind of funny. Because they just get tossed into nowhere. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I always love the uh, theme for this temple. It had like this really awesome, like, kind of industrial equipment like feel.
Oh, you're still there? Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> um, did I miss a torch? There's only four torches, right? What the hell? Okay, let's uh let's go check over here. Make sure there's no more. Let's go check the other side as well. Actually, let's destroy all these barrels. I'm pretty sure pretty sure there might be a fairy in one of these. Well, there is a there is a fairy, but not the type I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for a stray fairy for the um, fairy's fountain. But I guess we'll capture another one of these. Unintended on it, <clears throat> but we'll just uh, we'll grab ourselves another. Light this again, then. That was a little bit of a disappointment that didn't work somehow. Unless I somehow didn't light one of them. I can't imagine that being the case, though. But I'm pretty sure it looked like all of them were lit. Ah, I must have missed one. That's what happened. I must have missed one. equip this as well because that's always useful okay no more wait no more stray fairies cool whoa that's a huge water wheel I think there might be a stray fairy underwater in this room so we're going to uh, check really quick I think it's just right under this platform actually Ah, oh, sweet, it's there. See, I always like to get stray fairies, like, as I go through the temple. I know some people hate collecting stray fairies, but you only have to get 15 of them. And then you always get, like, some sort of reward. Um, I can't remember what the reward for this area is. Like, part of me thinks that it might be a, um... like basically some extra resistances another part of me thinks that it might be the great fairy sword I don't know I think it's the uh, one that gives you like a better magic meter like less magic usage and then um, also more resistance in terms of taking damage Hey there, Awesome Bros 26 Gaming. Uh, nothing much. Thank you for the follow. How? What's up with you? Uh, you having a good day? I know I'm having a pretty good day. I'm like uh, almost almost eight hours into a 24-hour stream, so feeling pretty good right now. We'll see how long that lasts, though. There's uh, always gets more tiring towards the end, you know. <laughs> I was having a dumb moment there. It's like, why wasn't the water going? Oh, I know why the water wasn't going. Nothing much. Woke up a few hours ago. Playing uh, some Nest Zelda, so you're good. I haven't actually played the original Zelda for the uh, Nintendo. Probably check that out sometime. Oh, wait, that's not what I need to do. I keep the water going, we go turn that thing down there. I guess, uh, since you're playing the Nintendo Zelda, have you played Majora's Mask then? Um, or have you played many of the Zelda games? Like, I would assume if you played that one, you probably have, but 
what they say about assumptions. Okay, you have played Majora's Mask and beat it a while ago. That's good. I can at least uh, not have to worry about spoiling anything then. I've uh, played through this game a few times. Um, I can remember quite a good chunk of it, but not everything. I'm definitely having some moments of uh, like, ah oh, shit, what am I supposed to do in a certain area? Are oh, you starting to do runs of Ocarina of Time? That's pretty cool. Um, out of those two, are you more of an Ocarina of Time fan? Are you more of a Majora's Mask fan? Like, if you're, if you're running Ocarina of Time, I'm going to assume it's probably Ocarina of Time, but it could also just be because Ocarina of Time, I think, has a quicker speed run. Um, I could be wrong, though. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Okay, don't need anything there. Just need to take that off. Or wait, no, I do need something first. Because that would just uh, dump me into nowhere. Hmm, I get it. That huge water wheel is powering this thing. Okay, there should be a couple or a few stray fairies out here. You have reasons for both games. Uh, Ocarina of Time's not as confusing. Doesn't give you anxiety like Majora's Mask. That's 100% fair. Um, I wouldn't say Majora's Mask ever gives me any anxiety, but I have had a few moments of like feeling really dumb. That's mostly because I, I was all set out on the three-day cycle, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do like this, this, and this. And I won't be paying attention to the time, and, uh, yeah, I'll get to, like, the third day or something and be like, ah, shit, I missed this thing on the second day. That's just because usually I kind of like to, uh, make it a little bit more efficient in terms of, uh, what I get done. It doesn't always happen, though. Okay, need ice arrows for that. So, let's start the dive. Uh... One thing I do like about the water temple in this game is if you actually know what to look for, it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. We need to get the pipes running. Let's see here. So, first pipe leads to... There. Wait. Or maybe there. I kind of missed it. <laughs> Now let's start with this one first. Once we get the first one started, it's all easy. It's all downhill from there. I've always enjoyed that it's all downhill from there is uh, something that can be both good and bad. <laughs> oh, I. I always hate the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time. Like, I much prefer the Majora's Mask Water Temple. <coughs> like, the one room that always gets me is that room in the middle with the rising platforms. Because I'll go into that, and I'll say, like, when I enter the temple for the first time, I'll be like, hey, remember to not miss the one platform that has something below it? And then, like, I'll forget about it for a while. And then, after I forget about it, I'll spend, like, an hour looking for it and get super pissed off at it. I'll be like, what the hell? Where am I supposed to go? And then it'll finally dawn on me. And because I should know better, it, it just makes me feel that much, like, more salty about it. Uh, otherwise, though, the one thing I do like about the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time is I actually really enjoy the um, Dark Link fight. Um, there's just something I've always thought was kind of cool about Dark Link. But I know a lot of people are not a big fan of that fight, so I can understand if you're like, ah, it's not for me.
Okay. I think there's gonna be some more things to zap. Boom. Boom. Dark Link is cool, it's like Shadow the Hedgehog and Shadow Mario, but with Link, yeah, yeah. Basically. Like, and, I don't know, I, there's always something cool to me about, like, the idea of, like, fighting, you know, your inner dark self or something. Which, that's, that's what that fight always makes me think, it's like, yeah, you're fighting the darkness within yourself at that point. Uh, yes, I have seen the live-action Cat in the Hat. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but I do remember it being kind of strange. Uh, it's got a... Um, uh, what's his name? Mike Myers? Yeah, Mike Myers. Son of a <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen that movie in so long. I should probably check it out again sometime. Because, yeah, I'm, like... That scene sounds kind of familiar, but honestly, like, yeah... Most of that movie, like, I wouldn't be able to really remember it off the top of my head. When did that come out? Do you know? But apparently, you know, Awesome Bruce is also a fan, so... Look at that, we got some cat and hat fans. <laughs> yes. I mean, who doesn't know Austin Powers, right? <laughs> Come on, guy. Here we go. I have to leave me again, Denki? Well, I'll see you again in a few hours then. Hopefully you have uh, fun with that, with that, or have fun with whatever, jeez. Yeah, words are hard sometimes. <laughs> okay, um, let me take a look here. Let's see if we can shoot an arrow into this, uh, pot. Okay, cool. I was like, I'm for sure this is going to be a fairy. I just, uh, wasn't quite sure how to approach it at first. But it looks like that did good enough. And we've cleared out the fairies for this room. Sweet. I guess, uh, when you did do, um... Majora's Mask, Awesome Bros. Did you do like a more 100% type thing, or was it kind of just like a more any percent type thing? I'm mean, not in terms of speed running, but just in terms of completion. Because uh, I wouldn't say like 100% it all the time, but I do get fairly close, I would say. That's mostly because I like getting all the different masks and filling out the. Um, bomber's notebook and everything. Because, I mean, if you get all the masks, you actually get, like, a really awesome mask that, um, is super overpowered. Like, it, it takes the Majora fight and just makes it into a joke. Not even a funny one. Okay. Let's go up here. Um, I wonder if I can get on top of this thing. Yeah, I should be able to, I think. Maybe. Are you going to bed now, Mamba? Well, you have a good night. I will uh, catch you sometime later. 
And then uh, thank you for the good luck on the stream. Do appreciate the lurk you gave me, man. Yeah, no, there's, uh, there's a mask I really like that you have to uh, basically almost 100% the game for. I mean, I guess it, I shouldn't even say almost 100% the game. Like, you could miss, like, a million heart pieces and still be fine. Um, but I always like to go for it, because, like, it turns boss fights into uh, just the easiest things. Okay, we're going to see how good I am at doing, like, rotational... Uh, spin attacks, because I'm so bad at rotation spin attacks. I have not quite beaten Breath of the Wild yet, like, I'm really close to it though, I just, uh, I set it down for some other games, and I just haven't gotten quite back to it yet. I do, from what I have played of Breath of the Wild, I will say it and Majora's Mask are probably my favorites. And I, I can definitely understand why Breath of the Wild could be anyone's favorite, because yeah, it's super open world and has like so much content. Though I feel like I made that game a little bit more difficult on myself than it could have been, because I was wandering around with like hardly any health the whole time. Uh, basically, what I did is, you know, when you uh, collect uh, all, when you collect the shrine stuff, and you know, you turn in all four for whatever. Like I solidly just spent all of the uh, first, like I spent it all on stamina until I maxed out stamina. I was like, I don't care about health. I just care about being able to uh, climb anything, basically, and be able to run without ever having to stop. It was pretty fun, but on the flip side, it did kind of make for a bit of a pain. Like, uh, you'd get into boss fights and stuff, and uh, you wouldn't be able to take much damage, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, come on, come on. Let me get some more of these out. Okay, we should be good now. I've got most of these out of the way. Um, let me do fire. It would be a little bit more damaging. Oh, actually, I'm going to do something a little bit cheesy, too, here. And go like this. Oh, actually, let's just unequip the Zora's Mask. We'll, uh, we'll equip the hookshot here. You can actually uh, use the hookshot to pull off bubbles. Okay, let's not have that equipped when I do that. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Okay, that should be good on that. Thank you. 
Okay, sweet. I just wanted to beat all the bubbles because uh, if you don't really take care of the bubbles in this game, they will totally just kind of like swarm you at that point. Like I remember watching another streamer beat this with like out beating or taking out many of the bubbles before they got to this stage in the fight. And like, oh my god, it was hilarious just watching them just get mogged by bubbles. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, we'll just hold this and hope for another good shot at it. I bet there's probably only like one or two more shots left. Yes, he does want to play nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Thing about getting high roll warriors for the Wii U. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I haven't actually played any of those. Uh, one of my friends uh, told me they're pretty good. It was like Dynasty Warriors, but with like, yeah, it was Zelda. But I'd never played Dynasty Warriors either, so. <laughs> I was kind of like, yeah, it's not a great example for me. Okay, we got the Ice Arrows. We can freeze enemies in water. That's, uh, that's another one I like watching uh, first try streamers do. Like, I don't know what it is, but... They, they never seem to notice the part that you can freeze water with it, and it's like... Yeah, if they allow backseating, it's kind of like, uh, you can freeze water with that. If they don't allow backseating, it's kind of like, oh man, if I had hair to pull out right now, I'd be pulling it out. <laughs> uh, let's equip that, though. Since that's going to be really useful here in this next room. Oh no. I have a kitty cat coming up on me. Let's see. Oh man, Misty, why are you always such a pain? <laughs> okay, well, since the kitty cat's here, I'm going to show her off a little bit. This is my cat, Misty. She's old. She's cute. She's grumpy. She's sad. She's depressed. I mean, she always looks sad and depressed. Even though she uh, purrs quite a bit. And then her, the only thing that sounds depressed about her is her meow. I'll let her up on my desk while I do this. I will have to switch to a different view here. I won't be able to watch my good screen. I'll have to look at my little OBS preview. Yep. Yep. She's right in the way. <laughs> that was to be expected. I remember it, I think the Akurox can jump all the way up to uh, hit me when I'm up here. I could be wrong. I mean, I feel like in Ocarina of Time they could jump really high. Let's, let's give him a try here. I guess not. Well, darn. Where is the fun in that? Um, let's see here. What the Great Fairy's Mask, since I didn't actually use the Blast Mask for what I was thinking I was going to. Okay, no fairies. That's good. I know, Misty, you don't have to give me that look. See, my cat always likes to give me this uh, look of disappointment if I'm not giving her plenty of pets and stuff. Like, hey, uh, can, you, uh, can you pet me? That'd be uh, really nice, bud. Okay, 
we're gonna swim around down here. I think that's where I came in from. I'll just do a quick loop around just to make sure. Or maybe I came in from the other way, actually, thinking about it. Nope, this is the way I came in from, for sure. Okay, let's go this way then. And then this should take us back out into the main hall. Now, the easy thing about this is if you've unlocked uh, the first little bit, all you have to really do is just follow where the uh, water's flowing. And it makes your life a little bit easier, honestly. Luckily, it seems like uh, most people can figure that out, even without having to point it out, which is always nice. Is uh, again, like I'll, I'll watch a decent amount of people stream this game. And yeah, it seems like uh, when they're first timers, sometimes they'll uh, they'll just not know how to get through here, and it's kind of. Kind of rough at that point, because it's like, nah, you don't have to backtrack so much. Though, I will say, I much prefer this uh, water temple to the, um, the Ocarina of Time water temple. Like, again, a lot more simple, easier to navigate. Oh no, 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 no. No. Okay, I'm just gonna jump over here. Let's try this again. That was that was bad. I feel really bad about that. Oh, that's another great one for uh, watching first timers is uh, watching them figure out to do what to do with this uh, choo choo. Uh, if you could get over here, bud, that would be beautiful. There we go. Not quite what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, I think, uh, I think I'll equip the Goron mask really quick. Just make short work of these. Is there not a fairy in this room? Okay, there's not. <laughs> With all of the uh, boxes and then um, other stuff there, I just figured there'd be another fairy there. Let's see here. Let's equip that again. Don't believe you can, but we'll give it a try. Just to be safe. Aw, oh, Misty, you were laying down and being so uh, out of the way, and now you're back in the way again. Okay. So I'll try this again. I don't think I don't think this is gonna work, but we're just gonna we're gonna see. Definitely not. Cool. That's what I thought. 
I guess uh, since he brought up the Wii U, I have never had a Wii U, but uh, I've heard some people, you know, say it's a really great console, and other people, yeah, they're not huge fans of it, so I guess where do you fall on that spectrum? Like, would you say the Wii U's really great, or more of the, uh, the Wii U's kind of meh type of uh, camp? I could definitely get both opinions. Um, I would say the biggest problem for the Wii U is probably just the marketing, though. Like, uh, I feel like it would have been a little bit more of a success if they didn't make it just sound like another version of the Wii console. That's the one you're supposed to freeze, is uh, using the uh, giant bubble. And you break them out, and then you just come shoot them. Okay, I'm remembering how this fight goes now. Here we go. That was a little bit cheap, man. I totally hit that with the arrow. He took a lot more hits than I was expecting him to take. I figured uh, a few ice arrows probably would have been enough, but uh, apparently not. Okay, night of the second day. Um, I do have to remember for this n second day cycle to actually go help out Crimea, because I completely forgot to do that last time. Okay, I think those are all just going to be arrows and stuff. But yeah, I think hers starts at... Actually, let's look at the journal. Just to see. better go actually okay okay let's uh do this so we have to return to the entrance the lucky thing is I think we have to go to the entrance of this dungeon at this point anyway so this just kind of works out And hopefully I'm not too late for this, because I think it might be one of those things where it starts, like, right at uh, 6 or something, but we'll see. Hopefully I'm not too late for it. Okay, Milk Road...
and then I do have to uh, put on let's put on the bunny hood just get over there a little bit quicker ah oh, motherfuck god damn it fuck <laughs> I hate this I hate this one so much literally <laughs> Oh my god, this is the second time I just, and I literally just missed this one. I forgot what the timing was on it. Um, fuck. I think after I clear the water temple, like normally I like to get a whole bunch of things done all in one cycle, but I think after I clear the water temple, I'm literally only going to focus on this quest. Because this quest has been a thorn in my side. I mean, let's let's see if maybe I can still start it, but I honestly don't think so. I, I think basically once you see that, it's it's over for. It's done and over. Yep, nope. Not able to do this. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, maybe I am. Okay. I was just wrong. I was dumb. Never mind. I'm not this salty. I take back my salt. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like to a ride? Okay, okay, never mind. Salt levels reduced back down to zero. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but oh my god. The cows seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken balls everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using a boat. Fucking shit, man. They, they definitely put this text in only at reading speed. Definitely not uh, reading out loud speed. So if you guys want to get this flavor text, you're gonna you have to read this one yourself. And otherwise, we have to kick into like uh, you know uh, auctioneer levels of uh, speed, and I just don't have that in me. The first time, though, I definitely missed this. Like the first time. <laughs> this time, I, I guess uh, as long as you uh, get to the ranch. Just that's a little bit of a pain that you actually have to go around the gate to get there at that point. Oh, we'll get your bow, bow ready. First milk road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Yes. That's unfair of them to put the uh, no first. Thanks, I'm relying on you. If we can get through here... I'll have a uh, big thanks for you. As much as I would love to make fun of the uh, item you get as a reward, it's actually very useful. Thank <laughs> you. 
I somehow not lose any bottles? Like, it didn't look like any bottles got broken. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. You got Ramone's mask. Wear it with C to show you're a member of the exclusive milk bar latte. By doing one good deed, the child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of customers. Um, I skipped through that way too quick. Take a look here. Adult customers, proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as a being an adult. You guarded the ranch's milk. This was added to your notebook. Uh, one little Easter egg is if you actually notice her, um... I was gonna say brooch. Brooch? But uh, I don't think it's a brooch. Um, whatever she has her thing tied with. Um, or I shouldn't say tied with, but... Put together with. It's a... Um, a uh, Bowser. Just a Bowser head. Okay. Bar open snacks are in its members only. Refuse people. Oh, okay, we've already read this before. What the hell, man? I mean, it is nighttime right now, isn't it? Or, like, is it like. Does he mean like 10 p.m. nighttime? Because if that's the case, I'll just wait outside. I don't even care, man. Okay, okay. We're just going to, uh, we're going to undo the, uh, inverted song time. I think I can actually do that in here, too. And I think what he does is he'll kick me out, and I can just come back in. We're gonna do that because, uh, I would like to get the, um, milk from here. And then, I would also like to do one little other side area thing while I'm here. Well, I have to get things ready for tonight's business. Please take care. Cool. Not quite as late as I was thinking it was going to be. I totally thought it was going to be, um... You know, basically you have to show up at like uh, 10 p.m. or something at night. But 9 p.m. is pretty good. I mean, I find that acceptable. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this stupid thing back on. We're actually going to equip these uh, transformation masks. Ate. The members only milk bar open from 10 p.m. Uh, it is 10 p.m. Those bastards. They fooled me. Guys, we've been had. Well, I guess while we're uh, waiting, let's just do this then. I could use the uh, restoration. That, that's, all, that's all I want. I'm going to get restored while I wait for this place to open. And we're not even going to uh, run or put on the bunny head. We're just gonna we're gonna walk there slowly but surely. The more time it takes, the better. As long as it doesn't like put me like past 10 p.m., like way past 10 p.m. Oh, I had a kitty cat sneaking up on me again. 
Misty. Misty, you have pets. Meh. Paddle and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. As I am now, all I can offer you is this. So my, as my thanks, allow me to ease your weariness. <laughs> my cat snuck up on me to like, beg for pets and then like, as soon as I tried to start petting her, she just walked off on me. <sighs> she does that. She does that. Kind young one, scattered about the four temples of this land are stray fairies like myself. Please somehow find the stray fairies and return them to their fountains. Surely they too will add to your strength. Okay, that was that was that was dumb and stupid and dumb. Actually, no, I don't need that because I remember I said I was going to take the slow way. I was just going to walk. I wasn't going to sprint. I wasn't going to roll. I was going to walk. I guess while I'm here, I'll also collect some money. There we go. Got us a nice even 500 now. Aw, oh, man, that was basically running. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. <laughs> well, let's see here. Really should have rolled him there. I wasn't thinking about it though because I forgot that I hadn't talked to the guard yet. Please come in. What I always think is bullshit is like, you're the only one who has to wear this. Also, when did Gorman get here? Because I never saw him come in. Um, when did this other guy come in? Like, yeah. Even when we were gone, I don't know that they had enough time. Uh, let's step up here. Um, can I speak to you, sir? Maybe, maybe now? There we go. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just wanted to see what it would have been like. Hey, you. You help me with a performance? We'll hit him with a yes. Okay, you play guitar right. Stand beneath the spotlight on the right. Actually, this is one of my favorite things, is that, like, the Zora gets, like, the biggest light, even though it's, like, one of the skinnier characters. And then, like, uh, I think the Goron gets, like, one of the smaller ones. Like, I think he gets that blue one over there. Okay, play your guitar like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket. Yeah, he's such a grumpy man. Did you help me with the performance load with another yes? Okay. Okay, you play the drums right. Go stand under the rear left spotlight. 
Yes, I knew it. I knew it. The Goron gets this, like, much smaller one than the Zora. Okay, play your drums like this. Same dialogue from these guests. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, let's put on the Deku mask now. <clears throat> I think he gets the really huge one there on the front left. Yeah. But yeah, Deku Scrub gets like a very large one as well, which is funny. Yep, got my little kitty cat stocking up again, probably to uh, bug me for a bit. Who knows? Misty, are you gonna jump up here? Or what are you gonna do? Come on, Misty. Come on. Okay, <laughs> she's like, I just want I want you to pet me, but I don't actually want to jump up where I, you can pet me easily. Uh, one thing she does like to do is she will hide under my chair while she's looking for pets while I'm in my chair, and it's like, why would you do that? Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. There you go. Then give her some pets till she lays down. Then we'll just uh, leave her be. Bravo! That was the best. Th that melody. That melody brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's a song that members of the previous generation of Anagodos made famous. I entered show business because I heard that song at the Carnival of Time long ago. Um, Misty, what did you do? Okay, okay. Um. What the hell did you do, Misty? Okay, let's take a look here. I don't even know how you accomplish that. Uh, um, one second. My my cat definitely fucked up something. And I have no clue how she did it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I think I'll deal with it. I have, I have a break coming up pretty soon here for... 24 hour stream, so I, I think what I'll do is <laughs> once I do this, uh, get this part done, I'll uh, I'll deal with the screen, then also take a little bit of a break. But now, literally, she turned it all to static and fuzz, and I'm like, I have no fucking clue how she did that. She like she rubbed on my mic and caused issues by doing performances. I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. You got the circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. You saw the tears of circus leader Gorman. This was added to your notebook. Okay, um, oh my god. <laughs> it is, I'm playing on like the small little preview screen, basically. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, oh, wait, I still need something from here. Uh, we're gonna go like this. And then I'm going to take myself another break. Because, yeah, it's, it's actually been uh, a few hours since I took my last break. So I'll probably be back in like, 
10-ish minutes, maybe a little bit more or less. Um, it'll probably be a little bit more just because I also have to fix the screen that my cat somehow buzzed up. Uh, maybe she, like, somehow pulled the cable loose or something. Anyway, though, I'm going to run the intermission screen, so enjoy the clips, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh... <laughs> I don't know how long that took. Probably took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Basically, though, I got upstairs and there was some bacon cooked. And uh, bacon doesn't last long, so... I was going to... Uh, or I had to make a BLT. So... I'm going to turn off the camera for a moment. While I eat this. I don't, I don't think you guys want to watch me eat. So give me one second here. Turn that off. And then I'll just talk while uh taking my first bite. Yeah, I made myself a BLT. Pretty good. Um I do want to get um some Chateau de Romani. <laughs> Bastard. Sir, it's the rules. Please wear your Romani's mask inside the bar. It's like, I don't get that. Also, he's looking like he's spazzing out. I remember when I was back at the ranch. My brothers. I wonder how they are. Okay, let's do this. Welcome. Uh, have a drink. There we go. What'll it be? Uh, we're going to go with the Chateau de Romani. Your bottle is filled with Chateau Romani. Drink it to replenish all of your magic power. The drink even improves your stamina. Swirled around with your tongue to enjoy the flavor to the fullest. Uh, this is a super useful item, actually. So let me... Let me get a nice little swig of this. Basically with this, it makes it so you honestly don't need the uh, really big one. You know what? Since, uh, since I'm not going to be eating all too much, and I'm going to be taking bites, I'll just turn the webcam back on for now. I'm not going to pig out while I'm uh, streaming. Okay. Me sleep. I know kitty cat. Yep, kitty's back, as per the usual. And let's just soar back to uh, Zora. Oh my fucking god! I don't think I activated the statue for Zora's domain yet. Actually, fuck. I'm so dumb. Okay. Great Bay Coast then. Get another bite of this BLT. I'm going to take one more bite before I continue playing. Yeah, I decided that I should probably add like a... Uh, technical issues screen because I felt like that's what it was more like when I was uh, dealing with what my cat did to my uh, screen while I was uh, on my break there because like yeah like I I, uh, I plugged in my uh or I do unplug my um um thing, my thing. Uh I had to unplug my primary monitor. And then when I did that for some odd reason OBS had like stopped streaming for a moment, so I saw that on Twitch's end it was showing that yo know, 
the uh, not like this, um, and then like the cir or the uh, camera with a line through it. Yeah, you know, basically just meaning technical issues or whatever. So yeah, I had to like start up OBS real quick, and then also um, had to start streaming really quick too before Twitch like was like, "Oh no, you're not actually streaming." Because that would, that would have bugged me a little bit. I would like for the end of my 24-hour stream to actually show 24 hours, you know. Okay. Get another bite here. Good BLT. I actually loaded a little bit heavier with the uh, tomato than I normally would. But overall, I'd say it's a, it's a good one. I have an interesting relationship with tomato. Like, I don't outright hate tomato, because I know some people outright hate it. I just don't really like tomato by itself uh, plain. Like, plain tomato isn't good to me. But yeah, when I have it on something, like, tomato is, like, so amazing. It's like an additive ingredient. <clears throat> like, when you add to other things, it is super good. Like, on burgers, or tacos, or BLTs. But yeah, when it's just plain, it's kind of like, ah, I'm not about this. <laughs> uh, let's turn this on. While we're waiting for that, we'll take another bite. come down here we actually turn off the yellow water and everything will start to run in reverse here and the current in the main room will actually be in reverse as well so this is what lets us access the other uh, other rooms or whatever Here. I just had this moment of realization, like, I know there's another fairy in here, I'm just going to try and get it real quick. I think that's going to be the last fairy in the main room, I could be wrong though. Uh, while I'm waiting for it to come up to me, though, that's another great time to take a bite. That was dumb. <laughs> that was real dumb.
Actually, maybe that wasn't dumb. It just felt like it was dumb. Now let's break all these jar or these pots underwater. I bet one of them probably has a uh, stray fairy or something. Also, I don't know why I was trying to ration off uh, <coughs> magic power there. Like literally, have infinite magic power with the uh, um, Chateau de Romani. Come on. Fishy fishy. Pausing like that. I'm going to take my bike. Scope out what's across the way. And after I do that, I will. <laughs> okay. I will uh, check what's out in that little room there. I think the little room there is probably going to be another fairy, though. And I think the room across is also a fairy. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so there's still at least another stray fairy in here. I'm pretty sure it's in that uh, room that I haven't quite figured out how to get to yet. Ouch. up the last little bit of my BLT really quick.
Okay, this is how you get in there, sweet. That's not too bad. <laughs> and we'll put the uh, Great Fairy Mask back on, see if that's all of them for this area. Yep, cool. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Let's switch back to fire arrows. Oh, man. This room's a little bit of pain in that way. But hey, we're managing. This another area that in the uh, Japanese version is actually harder than in the um, NTSC version. Because in the Japanese version, it doesn't actually always stop horizontally like this. Uh, you do have to really time it to uh, get it to the proper levelness. Whereas here in the NTSC, it always, it always uh, ends in a horizontal position. Okay. I don't really need any of the other stuff, but let's at least grab uh, some of these arrows. Okay, and we'll do this one as well. I know under one of these platforms is actually a... Uh, or something. Let's see. I think it's this one. And you swim into it really quick. Maybe? Or maybe you can roll. I can't remember. Maybe be able to roll. Okay, looks like there are more fairies in this area, though, so we'll just make sure to look out for those. <laughs> okay, I think I'm actually going to have to go this way first. But luckily, this won't be too hard. We'll just do that. We hop onto the next platform here. Do the same thing. And besides, we have to come over this way anyway, so we can um, turn the thing. Which I think is important in the next room. So let's do that real quick. Come on, Mr. Valentine. I was like, there is no way I'm going to fall for that. Um, I think we can get up here if you have the Zora's mask. Gives us ne enough height. Just 
I'm off this way. And then we'll uh, put on the hookshot. And boom, this should be as a stray fairy again. Only three more.